You can call me stupid
Welcome to Rocco B. Camiso Stadium here at Columbia University in New York City for this American Rugby Premiership matchup between Old Blue of New York and Mystic River of Boston. I'm John Broker and I'm fortunate enough to be joined by Eagle Captain and Scrum Half Mike Petrie and the man with the plan, Matt McCarthy of Rugby Wrap-Up for this great, great, exciting game today. Boys, this is going to be a great one. Mike, I know you played with a lot of these guys. What are we expecting today? Oh, this this is going to be a great hit out. I mean, just looking around right now at this facility, the sun going down here in, uh, in the northern part of the city. I mean, I miss these evenings, you know, the hit outs with Old Blue when I was playing for Nyack. But both of these teams are powerhouse programs here in the northeast. You know, you go through the lineup that you sent me last night. I mean, there's some real talent on both sides, and I think that uh, it's going to be a very exciting match today. All right, today. we'll talk about those lineups in just a second. Mr. McCarthy. Yeah, I got, uh, we got a lot of Eagles here, including Cam Dolan, who's back with Old Blue and gave me a hard time about my jacket and my shoes. Really? So I'm going to ex expect to get uh, some this, particular this criticism This of could Cam's be a national scandal with this. Yeah. You are wearing a, a tan. You're yeah. sort of, you know, yeah, you know the, the smart guy in the hot day. We should be yeah. really honest about this. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, let's talk about uh, uh, Old Blue first. So they won last second against Nyack with a kick. Uh, Connor Wallace Sims, you know, put them ahead by two points to, to win last week in the first round of the Premiership. But now they're coming up against Mystic River. Be a little bit different, uh, you know, this week. Mystic River's uh, lost last week. We'll talk about that in a second. But, you know, some inc incredible players in this old blue team. Mike, talk about some of these guys. No, there's some, there's some real talent. I mean, especially when you look through this back row. I mean, you look at guys like Gavin, Alex, and Cam. I mean, that's a really athletic, quick back row. I think they're going to be all over Mystic early. Uh, they'll be quick to the breakdown, and I think they're going to cause a lot of problems. And even in their back three, uh, you look at guys like Mike Sinclair. Mike Sinclair's got some real power and some real pace. He had a great spring season with Rooney in the uh, you know MLR precursor and then had a great seven seasons as well. So I think he brings some electric, electric shock to the team. And we were talking to the coach the other day. There's a couple of players in here that, uh, you know, in the center pairings that are going to be very important to them. Outside center, Penny Tagave is uh, just brought in, plays with the Glasgow Warriors a little bit. He's gonna, he's uh, on the USA radar and one of the players that they're looking at, as well as Chris Vaca Sisi Kakala, which I'm gonna have trouble pronouncing all day. But they make a really interesting, uh, powerful center pairing that, that's gonna be something for them to attack. Uh, well, one quick note on Vaca Sisi Kakala. It's actually translated into a, uh, like, flowered, uh, lay, if you will, for a warrior going overseas. True really? story. Yeah. That we knew? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Va we, I'll we tell you what. that from his dad. I'll tell you what about Warriors. Vaca has some serious leg drive into, in the contact situation. I mean, I haven't played with him this past spring a little bit. I mean, I was really impressed with his power and contact, and he drives straight through, and mm -hmm. I think he's going to really put some pressure on the Mystic River uh, midfield. Now, Mystic River, Division One National Championships defending. Great in the sevens program, went far into the, the club sevens this season, quarterfinals or semifinals, were just a joy to watch. They got, you know, a core of players back in, players back from Major League Rugby, lost a, a tight one, had a huge second half comeback against life last week, but come up short, two points short. You know, talk about Mr. Grill a little bit. What do we know about these guys? Look, I mean, just, just walking in tonight, I mean, I see a lot of familiar faces from three years ago when we used to battle it out with Mystic, and, you know, they're the defending D1 USA national champions. I mean, they're... They're a tremendous organization. They've got some real talent, and I think they're going to give Old Blue a run tonight, without a doubt. Well, you got the crafty Josh Smith, Josh Smith, 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 <laughs> Smith running the helm there. Josh, Josh knows his ins and outs of rugby. He's got his his fingers on the pulse of all of what's going on in the country, specifically in the Boston area. They're always going to be ready. They're always going to be tough. Yeah, they bring down some really good players. I mean, you have players like Diego Macchiera. He was playing uh, Major League Rugby with Houston. You know, he's back. You have guys like uh, Ian Luciano, who's been with this team a long time at Scrum Half, keeps things rolling. 
very, very good player. Adnan Kawuma at the inside center was, it came along in their sevens program. So they have players that can control it all the way across the field. I think it's going to be a really interesting, you know, styles of rugby to watch. I think Mystic's going to try to be a little more under control and you have, you know, just a speed running of this old blue team. Well, so we're, get, we're getting the word, guys, that we're basically running out of time. So <laughs> all right. let's wrap it up. I had my back to our producer and director. So we're going to be back with first half action right after this. And we are back here at Camiso Stadium. This is John Broker with Matt McCarthy and Mike Petrie for this ARP matchup. Both teams just about ready to come on the field. Going to start a couple seconds later than we were. But we got plenty of stuff to talk about as usual because these boys can talk rugby all day. So we got two great coaches here, Josh Smith and Tom Waring. Great relationship. They know each other very well, coach together and against one another. Let's talk about these guys a little bit. Mike? Yeah, I, I've known Dom for quite some time. Um, Dom's got a great rugby pedigree. He, he, um, he's got a great rugby IQ. And, you know, in, in here in New York City, I mean, he's been involved in everything rugby for the past several years. Um, you know, he's been leading this old blue team for a couple of years now. He's been intimately involved with Play Rugby USA in the past as well. Um, he brings a lot to the table. He started off as a strength conditioning coach, so you'll imagine that the old blue team would be very strong, very fit. Um, you know, and he really knows how to get the most out of his athletes. And uh, he's, he's definitely going to have a good influence on these guys today. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if they came out firing as soon as, uh, as soon as the whistle went. And he's a funny talker. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> he is an English guy, yes. He, he yes, has, that's one to refer to him. He has a background in the premiership. Yeah. I believe it's Northampton Saints, but yeah. uh, I, I, may be, I may be mistaken. Josh Smith, also a funny talker, but it's a Boston accent that <laughs> we're not used to. But it's, Matt a, it's a wicked <laughs> Boston accent that he's got there, and he, he, gets a hard, he gives, gives me a hard time when I make fun of his Boston accent. But, you know, you talk about a strength and fitness, fitness coach. Uh, you couldn't be different with Josh Smith. Josh Smith. Uh, but he is a 15s and 7s coach, which a lot of people might not realize. National Club 7s, his team lost to the Bulldogs, Steve Lewis's team. Mm -hmm. He knows his 15s. He's always got his team in the hunt in the, in the 15s category. But, again, I think we're, uh, we're running a little bit uh, out of time here. So why don't you take it away there, uh, John? We're going to be right back with more words. We'll talk about their relationship again at the Coach 7s together right after this. We are almost at the start of our game here as the teams make their way out. You see Old Blue there in white. And we'll see what Mr. Griver is wearing. And sun going down here, but it was a bit of a warm day, Matt McCarthy. Yeah, you know, you got, uh, you got field turf. It's excellent field turf, by the way. You don't, have a, you don't have a cloud in the sky. You've got beautiful sunset coming up ahead of us. Perfect conditions. Mike, as a player, specifically as a scrum half, handling the ball just a little bit, uh, do you like these conditions? Do you prefer a little weather? What, 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 what was your cup of tea? 
Now, look, these evening games, it, it, uh, the day drags on a little bit, so by the time the game kicks off, you're so ready to go, you don't even notice what the weather is, to be honest. It's, uh, but, but these conditions are, are fantastic. I mean, the only thing I would say about, especially playing in the Northeast, you know, with, with uh, this humidity in this time of year in September, the ball gets a little bit slick, and so as a number nine, uh, it can be a bit challenging sometimes when those, you know, when those heavy forwards tuck the ball under their arm and go into contact and uh, it gets pushed back out and it's like a little bar of soap spitting around. Mm -hmm. But, you know, for the most part, um, the, this, it that really doesn't get any better than this. this is a, it's going to be a beautiful night to play, and I think that it, it's the type of conditions that allow for an open, fast game tonight. John, you and I come from an era where we just got sunburned. Yeah, pretty you much. You guys are wearing sunscreen, <laughs> right? Does the sunscreen, the sunblock get on the hands with the sweat, Does, is, or is it just – feel just like wet or is it slick like sunblock on it yeah. <laughs> anything else from anyone yeah, every, just, every, yeah, every 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 doesn't need to be the, the, the turf for the whole day to heat up here so that's going to be that you know that, that's going to be a bit of a factor as the game goes on here in the evening here in new york city but it's going to get a little bit cooler on and get after all right we got john we've got, we got a the camera in the huddle the huddle cam and you see speaking of cam you see cap, captain cam dolan right there Great day. We're going to enjoy every part of it. But yeah. enjoying it is getting around the corner. It's working out that extra fucking bit harder than you did the last time. All right? It's not just going out and fucking laughing and, and joking. It's getting around, putting in the work, and then you fucking reap the rewards. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. They light each other up. Light speed, hug from the inside. Let's be smarter on the breakdown, right? Yeah, boys. Positive, positive, positive tackles. We'll let's turn them over. If not, fucking let's just take oh, yeah, we'll the guy yeah. on. Yeah. 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 Kick off whenever you want. All right, we're back, my, uh, John and Mike. All right, we are back here at Camiso Stadium. Referee Jim Rogers is getting set to put things on. So let's talk about these captains for just a second while we wait for the Mystic River God team to Josh. come out. Mike, you have a lot of experience with Cam Dolan, I would imagine. Yeah, Cam and I are uh, good friends. We've been playing together for quite some time, both uh, with and against each other. You know, he had, a, he had a great career down at life, and he's grown into such an amazing player over the years. And he brings such veteran experience to this team. Um, you know, he's, a, uh, he's got some experience from overseas. He just got done with the season in the MLR. You know, and as I, I mentioned earlier. I told him four minutes. It's been six, seven. <laughs> the referee trying to get the teams on the field there. Josh, where is so, everybody? That's intimate. But Mike, keep going. So Cam, Josh. you know, what do you, what do you think? What do you expect I'm gonna, as a captain for this team? No, Cam. Cam's going to bring a cool head to They're the game. Their time? You know, around the field, he's he's going to bring some serious pace, as I mentioned earlier. But you know, he, he's got a, he's a cool-headed guy. Um, you know, as I watched there at the at the pregame just now, you saw the team in the huddle. I was watching Cam kind of talk to the boys, and you know, you can imagine him just going through the checklist of, of what there. their objectives are for the evening and, you know, just That's reminding them of their patterns, so. of their jobs and responsibilities. But at the same time, you know, they're, they're going to want to come out hot. So um, that's kind of the message I'm sure that Cam's going to deliver and continue yeah. to deliver all night. And, you know, Cam Dolan's a pretty common name in, in rugby in America right now. The captain of Mystic River, Ian Luciano, big name to his team. But, you know, a different sort of captaincy, Matt. Yeah, a uh, longtime club player. Had a cup of coffee, a little bit more than that, in Sydney, playing a little rugby overseas. Yep. So that's a nice experience, you know, high-level rugby. Uh, he's a he's a commander. No, he's a field general. And I just like watching him. And he kind of, kind of reminds me of a kid yeah. named Mike Petri. Yeah, you know, there's some similarity there. They both wear a number nine on the back when they play the game. <laughs> As we Here comes Mystic coming out now. But Luciano, yeah, it's kind of an interesting contrast there in the, the captains you're going to have today. And I believe our game is okay. nearly going to get underway okay. here. As you see, Mystic River no good, don't in dark it blue. Run back to the top. Coming out on the field. You know, we got a lot of ethnic names here, guys, and I'd like to pr I'd like to pronounce them or announce them as they right, would guys, be in go. their own country. All right. Well, we'll put you up to that. I'm sure it's going to happen. <laughs> Referee Rogers seems to be ready to get things going here as he calls Mystic River out on the field. Just the, we're just and we the are circle. nearly ready for this game. The end of the circle is 10 meters, guys. Mystic's going to be in the dark end of the circle. jerseys. The end time, of the circle is 10 meters. Mystic in the dark blue, yeah. old blue in white coming right to left. There's Referee Rogers from Pennsylvania on your screen. And it looks like he's flying somewhat to to solo, so Mike. Uh, where are the field judges? <laughs> he, he came up earlier and mentioned <laughs> that he was by himself. We volunteered you to go run down and, <laughs> and do double duty tonight and uh, run touch and, and do some commentary at the same time. But it uh, looks like he, he kind of wanted to fly Ooh, solo. Captain, instead. are you ready? We're always good to the, re the referees here on Next Level Rugby Productions. <laughs> we told them after that we'd be extra kind to him. So whistle, Connor right? Wallace Sims gets set to start us off here. <laughs> Referee Rogers gets a game underway. And... Ball has gone 10. We are into this American Rugby Premiership matchup as La Framboise, I believe, gets right into the action there. Uh, moved up from D2 to this team, making a big splash here at open side flanker. 
as the ball gets skipped back, and I believe that's John Feldman playing fly half. Puts it back, a little miscue back there from Old Blue, but off they go to the 50 meter line. Goes the fullback, Eric Tack. Oh. Quickly going around that side is Koto Fujimara, and chipping it ahead is Derek Lipscomb. Derek Lipscomb, not really known you know, for his chip and chase game, tries to put it over there. Yeah, you mentioned that uh, that yeah, little mishap there. I mean, Mystic River did a great job of taking advantage of a of a, of a break in transition from Old Blue. You can see Cam Dolan off the kickoff was hanging back, expecting a kick a few phases earlier. As he moved forward the and the wing dropped back into position, you can see uh, Mystic just dropped it there right in the right there. spot and caused a little bit of havoc in the backfield there. But well done by Old Blue to recover. Start for him. Here's Diego Machiera to put the ball in. Northeastern grad played uh, some Major League Rugby with Houston. And Mystic just outside there. 22 on the run now as LaFramboa gets a second carry early in this game. Ball out to the back. Right, down play on. John, for the folks at home, it looks like Shotton is wearing number 19, not number 5. All right, we have a quick turnover there. And uh, it's come, ball has come back to Old Blue as Vaca Sisikala takes it in. Back, back! I'm missing one continent on name, but I'll get there. Connor Wallace Sims moves down in the midfield as Jamal Hadley, the AIC grad, takes the ball in. Sims again controlling there. And now the ball has moved out one more time. Good step there from Connor Wallace Sims. Ball's in the hands of the number eight, Cam Dolan, and slides in in the corner. Try awarded immediately. And Derek Lipscomb puts one down for Old Blue. An early try there for this Old Blue side. Great, great work. Yeah, just taking advantage of some early mistakes, um, you know, by Mystic there. I mean, great pressure to get some, to get some hands down on that kick. Uh, and, and early to, try to there for this old blue side. The ball great, back. great work. And all they do is just simple yeah, hands just taking on the advantage side. of some Connor early Wallace mistakes. Wallace Sims is such a tremendous player. He's got such great hands. You know, he just he commands the game very well, just moving the ball quickly to the outside. And when you got pace like that on the outside, it's uh, it's a tough act to keep up with from Mystic's side. And, Mike, he is, he's moved in. He's playing number 10. He's usually in the centers, and he's, you know, in, in sevens, he's playing out in the backs. Now he's, 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 the, he's the quarterback. Lining up to take the kick here. You see Connor Wallace-Sims. And it's try scored there by uh, Derek Lipscomb, playing really on his home field. Started out as a Columbia football player, played rugby here at Columbia, and now he's playing for Old Blue. Just looking at Connor Wallace Sims, we spoke about him a little bit earlier. I mean, Connor is a bit of a jack of all trades. You know, I mean, you, you mentioned that he was moving in from the backfield, but that's the that's the kind of athleticism that Connor brings to the table. You know, I mean, really anywhere you ask him to play, he's going to do a great job. I mean, even just just little things like that. You know, I know he's not probably Old Blue's um, first choice in kicking, I would imagine, uh, but uh, Connor's got a great as well. You know, he's got a seventh background. Very, very handy player. Really, he can fill in just about anywhere and do a tremendous job. He slots that kick from the corner, and it is 7 0. Old Blue leads early in this game. As it's going to be Luciano to kick. Luciano puts it deep. Fujimura Touch. goes back there, oh. and the ball comes down into the hands of. That is not Cam Dolan wearing the number eight jersey. It looks like Dylan Fawcett. They'll do that to you every now and then. <laughs> Slightly different heights in those boys. Both very good players. The ball gets moved across by the Mystic River team. Oh, white. Excuse our jersey numbering miscues every now and again as Machiera comes to take it in, swallowed up by Schwartz. You'll also see a scrum cap number 21 That's on Old Blue. Aaron Evans, the loose head prop, brings it in. Now Feldman one more time. Feldman gets it out he to uh, Frazier. Frazier moves it out wide. That's foot white. That was Laframbois one more time. And this... Mystic team now looking to make up for that as the ball goes to Owen Hunt. Luciano Backwards. looks for a little run there. Ball goes back off a little miscue yeah. there, and his opposite number nearly picks it up, but Feldman gets it to Kawuma. Kawuma, the Ugandan, moves the ball out to the wing, and now a chance on the outside here for Spike Armstrong. Great, great name, Spike Armstrong. I'm going to name all my children that as the ball comes in. This is good pressure here from Mystic. I mean, to take advantage of that miscue on the kickoff, uh, you know, Old Blue let it hit the ground, and here you just see Mystic just holding on to the ball, turning away down the field, keeping possession, really running a good system here. And a little miscue a there. A little bit unlucky there, yeah. We're going to have a scrum here, but, yeah, absolutely. Good pressure bit unlucky. on Mystic team. Let's all come down there. Where's your mark, guys? Yeah, Old Blue really put themselves under some, some undue pressure there by letting that kickoff hit the ground. I mean, I'm sure they'd love to have that one back without a doubt and probably get it into the hands of a, 
of a kicker that will put them into touch, let them resettle and recharge their batteries and, and uh, give Mystic a line out, hopefully somewhere around yeah. midfield. But, you know, now they're still under a bit of pressure here to clear their lines. I mean, we saw what happened on the other end when, uh, you know, Mystic Go! guys are running out inside their own 22 early in the game. Block kick or, you know, a turnover and Old Blue try. They don't want that to happen here. So Old Blue will be looking Set. to move this ball along. As Fujimara puts the ball into the centers. Away, Blue. Still in. I believe that was Tagave. And now the kick from Sims. Is Tagave wearing a scrum cap? We're going to find out when we see his numbers coming along. Yeah, no, no question. Oh, that was Vakasisi Kakala who put that initial run in there. That's the middle. And we have a line out here to Mystic just inside the old blue half. And Mike, absolutely right, taking some pressure up there, but you know, giving Mystic some room to run. I'll have a ton of Absolutely, yeah. I mean, just in general, you look at old blue just now in terms of that scrum. They had a big open side on the left, but, you know, it's early, get, it's early doors still in the game. And, um, you know, they just, they just went with the, uh, the go-to option there to get it into their fast runner's hands, get some yards, and then put it upfield. And, and now you see it's uh, yeah, yeah, taken away by off blue. His hands. And you saw Shotton interrupting that lineup, right? Yeah, Dave Shotton all six with ten of them. Back. Gets up and in there, and now it's ball to Fujimara. Fujimara takes it on his own. Had Dylan Fawcett waiting. Ball back to Sims. Connor Wallace Sims sees some space. And it could have been a knock on there, but referee not seen Jerry it. Does. Oh, wait, now seven release. Now Jared Collinson, one of their stalwarts and sevens players, puts it into the Ooh, midfield. Great. As the sun finally starts to set and cool Leave things it down here in northern Manhattan. Back. Backwards. Over. Get over. Over. Now it's in. John loved watching Hadley call for the ball there, <laughs> you know, on the fake. Okay, he, was, he was ready. Now Mystic. They didn't do well in this area before, as there are just a couple of pick and goes looking for some space. Now it's 19. And that's on a the relief there for Mystic, yeah. Away. Not Nine, rolling yeah. away there against Old Blue. You gotta get away. Mystic's gonna get, get away with this one. Yeah, Old Blue let them out of jail there. I mean, I, you know, watching uh, watching Mystic just now with the ball spitting out of the back of that ruck a little bit sloppy. That's a really, really miserable position to be in as a number nine. And, you know, uh, really and truthfully, Old Blue just kind of let him go. Not a great kick there. Uh, not the distance that he wanted. It looked like he sliced it a little bit off his foot. But, you know, if you're Thanks, six foot ten it. guys getting back to the penalty, you're going to be <laughs> noticed if you don't roll away. Yeah, that's, uh, there's a lot of them there. Mm. Ah, now I figured out Dolan and Fawcett are both wearing number eight. As the ball goes to the middle of the line out there, a little more trickery needed, and Luciano moves it to Laframbois. Thor Laframbois barrels into two. And he's certainly Ball's there, leave it white! It's right now with his third or fourth Leave it white! Early in this game. You're off your feet. Ball gets slid in behind there. And down the wing to Armstrong again. Spike Armstrong kicks it ahead. Connor Wallace Sims cannot come down with it. He regales his own kick there. And Mystic River powers towards oh, the 22. 12. Runners coming. Big Dave McKenna, Springfield College graduate, Leave it wide. takes it in. Now the ball is to Feldman. Feldman looking for some runners. Gets it up to his number four, Thebus, Jackson Thebus. And Mystic River again in the all blue roll, zone. Please. We got a penalty advantage. Machiera not making any yard is there. penalty advantage. Two penalty advantage. The referee Rogers letting everybody know there's a penalty advantage. Well, it's Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. Been waiting Back for that one, seven. McCarthy. Back up seven. Still playing penalty advantage. They got some runners out wide here, but I'm not sure. Uh, Free play here for Mystic. You'd love to see them try something a little yeah. bit, you know, out of the ordinary and just uh, knowing that the ball will come back to that penalty. But the big fellas are in inching closer here. Advantage offside. Another advantage. Yeah, another advantage. And before no, like that happens. No, they weren't. I think we're going to have a little chat here Three, with the. Uh, we have offside right here. We have not rolling away over there. Yeah. Not rolling away. It's going to take the not rolling away, Bob. Penalties here. <laughs> 200. <laughs> not rolling away. All sorts of good things happening here for Mystic just by keeping possession and just slowly inching away upfield, phase by phase. And you know, they're, doing, they're doing a great job of just keeping pressure on Old Blue. you got to love getting choices in, in, in picking penalties, it's, right? It's, it's, it's that good. Was three, they then eight, bring then it out here. And they're going to take the scrum off not of this rolling. and really yeah. try to – they want the, the five oh, points or seven points out of this, Mike. They don't want uh, just to go for easy goals. 
Well, look, this is one of those opportunities as a back line you kind of like salivate when you see something like this. You, 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 got, you can see the whole back line out here in the open field just stacked up, ready to go. Um, you know, you see the, the blindside wing stacked in behind the 10. Uh, it would be great to see them shifting into the line here at some point. Let's see how they run it. Ball to Feldman. Feldman's got runners coming. Slits it outside to Dazzo, the Dartmouth football player. Switched to rugby in college, and now they're going to move back to the other side to their forwards. Nothing terribly exciting out of that one. He's buffed, that Dazzo. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Dazzled by Dazzo. I am. Ball gets popped back up to Armstrong working his way in. Feldman sends it wide, but uh, Collinson That's well fine. marshaled there. Gets it down, down to Ibanez. Yeah. Blindside flanker. Uh, leave it now white, leave it white! Cross field. Ball goes up to one of the big fellas. It's Jackson Phoebus. Feldman puts in a bit of a long one. A little slip pass there, Cross but it doesn't forward. work. And ball's been turned <coughs> over no. by Old Blue. And Cross they're going to get away with this one. Nothing game. Good line speed no in the midfield there. Uh, I didn't quite catch who came flying out of line, but, you know, he, uh, he disrupted the play. And, you know, that, that's one of the golden rules of coming out of line on your, on your own goal line there. If you're going to come out like that, you've got to make something happen. And well done, he did. You know, I didn't say it before, and I wanted to say it, but take the points early. Come on. I, you know, these teams are they want to be conservative, Matt. These teams want to, they're, they're here to, to make a statement. Uh, you're, on, you're on the road. Take the points. Bind! Can't argue that. <laughs> Set! <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Scrum goes down. Reverie Rogers is going to bring it back together. It's a great, yeah, gritty good. view there with the camera good. angle. You've got the red brick buildings. you got right there, next level rugby, right down in there. <laughs> right down in there. You got a good shot at Cam Dolan there. In the back. He's Shot the taller Rome. number eight. Yes. Interesting to see Dylan Hooker, actu uh, Dylan Fawcett actually play Rome. Hooker. Yeah, right? I, I've called a number of games. I don't think I've seen him play Hooker in a game. Fine. But I've called anyway. Set. A very versatile player there. Yes. Playing some of the Glendale Raptors. <laughs> in the Major League Rugby and a huge blast for the whistle One, as referee Rogers penalizes. Mystic at that scrum, and Old Blue is going to get to move this forward. Great work by that set of forwards, Mike. Again, now it's now it's Mystic's turn to kind of let uh, Old Blue out of jail, return the favor for earlier. You know, it's um, you get teams under pressure like that. You can see, um, you know, Old Blue was, was kind of desperate at that point to clear their lines, but now here they are. They're moving up towards midfield, their own line out, ball in hand, and uh, a good attacking position here. Yep. And the south paw, the, the lefty-footed kicker, Connor Wallace-Sims, kicks it into touch. See how Mystic responds to this, fellas, after not taking the points. Mm. Old Blue just about their 40-meter line. Oh, four, four. Okay, I thought he said four. Get the ball to the tail quickly. Looks like Shotten. Ball to Connor Wallace Sims on the run. Switches it back in. Such great footwork from Mike Sinclair. He's, he's, he's always going to make his first tackle. Now, Blue. Back, back, last foot. Back. Really a back. quality player is Fawcett. I needed you back. Standing in the first receiver spot. Puts Thank it you. out the back to. Fakasisi Sakala. Fakasisi Sakala. Oh, Good. fantastic. Thanks for that one again. Great work. As the ball gets popped through there, and that was uh, Tagave. Yeah. Put up a pass. It didn't quite go to hand. John, I actually Choice. mispronounced it. It's Fakasisi Kakala. Fakasisi Kakala. Yeah, yeah, that's what I got. Going forward directly into touch. I, uh, I had mentioned earlier a little bit about the athleticism of the old blue forward pack, and you see there from Dylan Fawcett just his ability to stand in in that first receiver position close to the pack like he's a forward runner off the, off the fringe and just shift the ball out to the outside behind his runner next to him and, and shift it to, our, to the 10, and it opens up so much space. When, when you've got players that can do that, it really opens the field up in a way that uh, you know, previously wasn't possible. <laughs> so great to see guys like Dylan stepping into that position and really making plays like that. And you had a run with him with Rooney. Yes, 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 we did. <laughs> Dylan, Dylan was our captain this past spring. Yeah, um, time's on. He's a, he's, a, he's a great leader. He's a, he's a tremendous competitor. I mean, he's, he's super intense, to be fair. Um, that motor keeps running. But he, he does not stop. And it's, uh, all I know is that he, uh, I was pretty happy he was on my side of the line. He's gotten five Set. Eagles caps for his, his hard work. Oh. He's uh, certainly making a name for himself. Undoubtedly. And I'm sure he will continue to do so. Yep, the out, the out, butcher, out, as out, they out. call him. Ball comes out there. Referee says all's cool and Mystic under pressure. Deep in their own zone here. No, didn't survive. Inside. That's outside. Luciano now. 
takes it upon himself, puts the ball up over Lipscomb. Lipscomb able to keep it in and moves the ball across to Connor Wallace Sims. Wallace Sims trying to step everybody and steps a few. Watch! Fujimara puts it out and Lipscomb has moved into the midfield. Lipscomb moves it across there and the Mike ball Sinclair, is into one Mike on Sinclair. One the passing is not sharp yet, right? But making the guy step back and take the pass. Yeah, Old Blue needed to move that ball a little bit quicker, a little bit earlier, give that ball Maybe to Mike with a little bit more space and time, and I think he would have been able to make something happen. I'm sure, you know, Mystic, on the other hand, is aware of those one-on-ones. They want to stay away from that. They know the Sinclairs. They know the, the Lipscombs, and, you know, they don't want to get in that battle. As ball gets knocked on, scrum here, yeah. just inside their Talk own forth. zone to Mystic. Fellas, getting back to Dylan Fawcett. He played all four games for Rugby United New York in their exhibition matches, including against one uh, against the... Uh, Mystic Boston Mystics, whatever you want to call them. But also then he switched over to Glendale, the Raptors, and played in the final against the MLR, in the MLR final, rather, against the champion Seattle Seawolves. But an interesting strategy by the coach was not starting him and bringing him in the second half where they had played previously with Zach Finolio and Dylan in the lineup. And I think they paid the price for that because as soon as he came on, he made things happen. Coach! He's, he certainly is a, a live wire when he gets going. Up. Uh, Take the left side of the mark, please, so there's space. Okay? Left side of the mark, so there's space. The referee taking, referee Rogers taking his time about this. Wants to make sure we're clear. We'll get a nice shot of the scrums packing down there. Luciano, Ouch. the captain. Fine! Speaking of Luciano, had a great box kick earlier. Just didn't Set. quite get the chase on it that he needed, but a tremendous kick right on that halfway mark. He's pushed off here as the ball comes back from Frazier. Oh. Frazier, oh. and he's got seven speed. Frazier can go. He's inside the 22, and Chris Frazier is going to score a five-pointer here wow. for Mystic River. And just like that, Chris Frazier has changed the fortunes, and we are at 7-5. Tremendous. Tremendous uh, work. Chris Frazier uh, making a name for himself with no last name, apparently. <laughs> right? He's yes. gonna, he doesn't need one now. Mikey, your first mic, your first mic. Mike. Guys, Mike, where was the guy? Come on, Mike. 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 That you put the ball down like that. I mean, great work, great work by sure Mystic there. The Conver line, not the Conversion is good. We yeah, were all tied up, you and you just saw you just saw the speed there. I mean, the Frazier is a tremendous Ooh. sevens player. He's gotten some looks from the U.S. You know, he's just a talented, <laughs> talented guy, and he, he gave him a little open room there, and the speed came on, no problems. The long loping stride, but bam, he was gone. You imagine there must have been a breakdown in communication there in Old Blues back three, and I'm sure they spoke about that under the post of who has to take who in those situations and. You know, and that's what you got to do. You, you just got to get under there, reorganize, regather, just nominate and make sure that next time that happens because, you know, without a doubt, from all Blues' perspective, you're going to see it again. So just make sure you shut it down. Connor Wallace Sims puts a little Field it inside. kick in there and does so. Carry and over. Mystic River now. No, it's not high. Through one of their forwards. Works their way out there. Luciano looking for runners and has one. And Aaron Evans. Evans still on his feet. Tumbling and rolling a couple of times there. In front. The big fella. Luciano again goes to the box kick. Connor Wallace Sims, no problem. Run! Expecting a little more pressure a little quicker on that one. And that was a ball that St. Clair didn't exactly know was coming. Makasisi Kakala couldn't quite. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he knows it, John. He was holding his head. You know, he's regretting that pass. Mike, we've all been down that road. Yeah, undoubtedly. I mean, but, you know, it's it's a long game. You know, I'm sure he realizes that. You just got to bounce back and, and you move on to the next job because those sorts of things happen all the time. That's why I <laughs> never passed. <laughs> Ever. That's why you never passed. No. You didn't want to throw a bad one. <laughs> you got a 100% record on that. Vic, this is yeah, this just, looking at, just looking at where off. we are right now on the field. I mean, um, that was a uh, – from Mystic River's perspective, this is a good place to be in. I mean, you know, they, they box kicked effectively straight down the center of the field, which is a tough job for the nine to do. I mean, you could see he was trying to angle it towards that touch line a little bit to, to cut off some of the options from Old Blue. Uh, Connor Wallace Sims did a great job going up strong for it, but, you know, unfortunately that error puts Mystic in a good position now with a lot of space to the open side to be able to maybe punch the midfield, look to bring some, some people around the corner and, uh, 
and finish the play out wide. And there's that replay with Frazier dotting it down, going up the gut. Just an amazing play. Uh, and, and fellas, this is something we can look for going forward, or are they going to shut it down, Mike? Uh, like I said, I mean, I, you know, you'd hope that yeah, Old Blue I'm came down under the, under the sticks and, you know, talked about what happened. And, and uh, my, I would imagine there was a breakdown to, in uh, communication at the, at the back, in the back row. And Good to go, guys. You just got to nominate. Time's on. they got to make Water sure off, the defense please. is coming as we. Just looking at our booth with Ryan Ginty and the executive producer. Just look, we're just trying to verify the amount of time left in this half. No. We're at the halfway point and all tied up. As a slight injury held us up there, but it's going to be a scrum to Mystic. Crouch! Old Blue, if you look at setups here, if you get a wider Fine. screen shot, if you, if from our perspective, you can see Old Blue is giving them a big corner here on that Mystic right-hand side, which is the way they're set up. Mike Sinclair is starting to slowly drop back now, but... Good squeeze on there by Old Blue. Oh, great push, great Lovely. drive, and you can see Cam Dolan first. very excited about that. Forced a knock on there, and we're going to have a scrum now to Old Blue Lost just inside their own back, half. Guys. Now that's Lost how you want to answer, Mike. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, that, that's well, the type that's the type of turnaround you need from Old Blue to now put yourself right down. back into position to so kind of to get mark, a back line strike now. I, don't be surprprised to see Connor Wall Sims on these some boys in the midfield. Here's your mark. Yep, left the mark. Jamara. To put it in. Approach! So is, is Gavin DeMore wearing 21 at Fine. Is that what we're saying there? I am not sure Gavin DeMore Morrison's in this I game. I don't think he's in that, no. No, that doesn't look like Gavin. He, looks, he lost a ton of weight. <laughs> Must have been a bit of a, a late scratch there. You can see there. Baca lining up to take Stay a good line here off a of nine. You can see him standing in the midfield. Connor Wallace, him standing a bit deep. He's kind of out of the play. Out the back, there he goes. And then they go, it'll a back round and move, and well done. Advantage Lipscomb, the try scorer, comes through. Lipscomb, also an accomplished sevens player, finally gets hauled down outside the 22. And Fujimara can only take it back. into contact. Keep going back. Dolan, the ball, the ball's moved away there by Lipscomb in the scrum half position for that one. No, ball was out. And ball out, turned over there by Mystic, potentially. Ball was out. And Mystic has turned this over. Referee says it's fine. Get in there, get in there. Lower to the team. Ibanez. Drop, drop. Ball in the midfield there. Tackle! Like Frazier, the try score again, I believe. <coughs> now they go off to the weak side to Laframbois. Laframbois moves the ball off to Spike Armstrong. Armstrong takes the ball on a tackle. With big contact there as box kick blocked. Ball coming down there. Luciano doesn't get away with that one. Tough days as it was... Alex Schwartz. And here's the butcher. Dylan Fawcett takes it into contact. I think that was Vaca Sisi Kakala taking that in. As Old Blue has some runners out to the left here if they want to go. Fujimara a little slow there. Moves it back out to Connor Wallace Sims, who puts a long one into St. Clair. Some Russian defenders coming on to him. St. Clair. Able to hold it right now, but dangerously close to the touch line. Able to keep that one in. Does well. Ball out to Fawcett again. Fawcett moves it quickly. I think that was Purpura he gave it to. I'm sorry, that was number one. It's Hadley. Now it's Schwartz. Schwartz headed for the line, and Old Blue scores. Oh, oh man. Old Blue nearly scored another try. But mistake at the end there, I believe. And referee Rogers is going to give a scrum to Mystic. But good pressure on that whole set from Old Blue right there. And you can see what Old Blue is doing here with these two fellow runners stacked up for uh, the so, you know, They've got great handles, as I mentioned earlier. So it's really tough for Mystic to stand up and see what's happening. You know, hit that first receiver. And the next thing you know, that, that player can run, that player can kind of the person next to him or go out the back to their back line. And that's a situation there where just a really good decision by their first receiver to hit Schwartz on that short line and just unlucky to come up short there and uh, miss yeah, the line. You just saw it there, just spilled it forward. Well, I but thought that was Bobby McMahon. It could have been. I just go by the numbering they give me. So yeah. at some point, number seven right there was the guy who just spilled it forward. That's Schwartz, but they pretty sure number seven is Schwartz, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. It was a close-up of a bearded man. So we're going to slow down here. But, Mike, just before we go into the scrum, I mean, uh, Old Blue just 
Bloom out of the water in the last scrum here. Now it's a mystic offensive scrum with their own five meter line. Old Blue's gonna really want to push this one through. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I can I can hear Dylan Fawcett, you know, and Cam <laughs> Dolan from the back speaking to the boys almost from from the from the booth upstairs saying let's let's really go after this one. And that scrum is set down now. Referee Rogers puts it down. And the pressure is on there as Frazier has to come around. He's at his own five meter line, legs pumping. Well done by Frazier to escape that pressure. Fellas, the word is on the street is that it's uh, Giovanni Perez wearing number 21, 21? at okay. flanker. Yeah, Good to know. blue. As Mystic trying to fight their way out from inside their 22 with the ball to Feldman. Feldman pushes it away into the hands of Eric Tack. Eric Tack sees some space. Looked across at first for Makasisi Kakala, but takes it himself. And that man comes in to support him right there. And the ball's off to Connor Wallace Sims. Puts it to Schwartz's hands. Schwartz, of course, we're earning a cap as an Eagle Sevens player. Wallace Sims has to hold on to that one. Ball comes to St. Clair. St. Clair pops a little one up there. Doesn't quite get to anyone. And one of the old blue props rolling around. It just bounced over him. I can't really fault him for that. And just noticing that, you know, Chris Frazier is not just all offense. He's all over that ball defensively, up and down the line. He's an absolute talent. You know, it's been pretty evenly matched so far. You, you know, you, I kind of thought, to be honest with you, that Old Blue would have a distinct advantage, especially up here at Columbia where they play tough. But credit to uh, Mystic, Mike. Yeah, I mean, Old Blue also came out hot. You know, they, they scored uh, a couple minutes into the match, and, you know, it would have been, been quite easy for Mystic to just kind of turn off the Jets and, you know, and walk away and say, hey, boys, you know, let's, uh, let's just kind of get through this, you know, under the sticks. But... Uh, Never, ever, ever count Mystic out. You know, I mean, we've been in plenty of battles with them when I was playing with Nyack and even when I was playing with Rooney recently where we come out on them early and then Mystic just continues to fight. That's one thing that I've always loved about this Mystic program when we played against them. I've enjoyed our matches because they are a relentless outfit in many yeah. ways. Ton of heart and ton of uh, pride in that locker room. Even for Red Sox fans. <laughs> <laughs> this is a classic American sports town matchup. There's a little uh, injury to Vakasisi Kakala here. Getting looked at by the trainer, but he seems to be okay. Get a great shot there on your yeah. screen of the Columbia Athletic Facilities back there. Unfortunately, we're not in that nice temperature, air-conditioned room up there. But uh, Nonetheless, great facility. Yeah. Great backdrop for <laughs> rugby. Great facility. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, you got to get up here, folks. As you see St. Clair getting back in a position there. Referee Rogers set to put down this mystic scrum. Luciano, the captain. Pushes it to Feldman. Feldman has Kawuma coming in, but moves it around the back. Ball gets popped to Dazzo over there, and Dazzo winds up turning it over in the pass. Lipscomb puts it down. I believe that was Tack. Great the defense by Tagabe there, John, interrupting that passing lane. Just a bit forced there from Mystic, you know, trying to make something happen. Maybe the allure of space on the outside, just trying to force the ball over the top. You know, those 50-50 passes, especially inside your 22, are always a dangerous situation, and they're lucky here to kind of hang on to possession and get another chance to clear their lines. And that's uh, a bit of luck there from Mystic. They're going to get it back to the scrum here after the knock on by Old Blue. So about 10 minutes to go in this first half of American Rugby Premiership action where Mystic River and Old Blue are tied 7-7 here at Camiso Stadium. Great shot of the big boys up front getting ready to lock heads. That's big uh, Tony Purpura there, University of Maine grad. Another capped front rower for the Eagles. Run with San Diego? Play yes. San Diego, yeah. The Legion? Yeah. Tony, such a hardworking guy, such a good guy. I'm so happy to see him ha and, the, and the career he's had so far from, you know, playing up in, in the Northeast for so long and really setting a goal for himself. I remember meeting him, uh, you know, when he was a bit younger and talking about the Eagles and then to see him grow to this extent is, uh, is, is so tremendous for him. How do you feel when Mike talks about when he was a bit younger? <laughs> <laughs> I make, uh, yeah, I'm fighting back vomit in my mouth right now, <laughs> but I, I pulled a hamstring with that, <laughs> with, the, with the vomit in my mouth. Just with yeah. a comment. Yeah. So. It socks your age, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Brian Humphreys for that line. Little uh, little miscue there. We're going to have another scrum here deep in the Mystic territory. And it's going to 
going to be Old Blue in a great attacking position here. Uh, we're, like we were talking about it before, this is, you know, this is the place you want to be. Cam Dolan's eyes have to be like saucers right now. Yeah, but if you're a back, you've got to be in Cam Dolan's <laughs> ear. Like, look, you know, <laughs> this, is, this is an opportunity for us. You know, you boys do the push. You get us as close as you can to the line. Force... Uh, of course, them to be under a bit of pressure, but let us do our thing here. This is what we practice for. Cam Dolan's eye is one of the top 80s hits <laughs> of all time. <laughs> and there, got the squeeze on here. Dolan picks it up and puts it in. No problem for that try. I think that, you know, like the scrum just moved the wheel away from the back, so it wasn't going there anyway, but no, good pressure. No. no, in a game like this, you know, you've seen the, the dominance that Old Blues Pack has had. You know, there, there's no question that you're talking to your boys and saying, let's keep it in, but... You know, from the perspective of Connor Wallace Sims, he may want the ball in hand to try to run one of his strike moves. But good decision there by Old Blue. Good patience by Cam Dolan at the back. You know, great footwork. That's the kind of thing as a number eight you see Cam working on day in and day out. You know, uh, I haven't played with Cam back at Eagles camp. You know, he would be sitting there after practice, before practice as a number eight, just walking with the ball at his feet, dribbling it sideways, dribbling at different directions, and, you know, it pays dividends in situations like that. And, and I'll tell you, good. fellas, my first introduction to Cam Dolan was CRC's College Rugby Championship 7s when he was a beast running up and down the field. I'm like, somebody's got to get this guy. <laughs> yeah. Big six foot seven, has a gas. Could have been a great uh, Eagle Sevens player. He was going the 15s route. Had a good career so far as Wallace Sims. Tough angle this time. Strikes it well. Curves for him, oh. and it's good. Nicely done there by Connor Wallace Sims, nice and we are at 14 to seven. Old Blue over Mystic, just a few minutes to go in this first half, and that's a, it's a, it's a good move for them at the end of the first half. Mike, big yeah. score. Yeah, absolutely, without a doubt. That's uh, that's a good way to to kind of put your stamp on it as a forward pack. You know, you certainly, um, you know, from Old Blue's perspective, you're, you're you're moving you're moving in, you're getting that 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 strength in your scrum. You see that strength in your scrum. It only builds confidence throughout the game now, and it's a, it's definitely a great way. You see it here again as Cam yep. just kind of almost falls effortlessly over the line and, and congratulates the boys on a, on a job well done. It's it's just going to keep improving from there. Luciano puts in the kick. Ball comes down to Fawcett. Fawcett slips through one, slips through two, gets a little pass away. Ooh. And now we have some moves coming on here as the ball gets slid away. I think that was Perez. We said he's wearing number 21. And there he goes, right on his home turf is Derek Lipscomb. And Lipscomb answers a try with a try. Unbelievable work there from Old Blue. And that's got to hurt for Mystic. Not crazy about the defense out there wide. You can't flick at a guy's shoe the size of Derek Lipscomb and tell him and expect him to go down, Mike. No, but you know, it starts, it starts up they, they got a great kick off the uh, off the kick off that drop kick right on the touch line, right where you kind of want to put all blue, and you got to make those first up tackles without a doubt, and and you got to tie the ball up as well. But you know when you get Derek Lipscomb in space like this, he's got such great power, such great footwork. He's a, he's a tough man to stop. He looks like an NFL tailback in the open field. Forget it, it's over. And just taking a taking advantage of that Mystic River letdown there after. Try scored against them. I thought they were just going to wait for uh, Old Blue to kick it back to him, be on offense. But uh, got to give credit to Dylan Fawcett there. Absolutely. He just took it and charged, and uh, here we are. Absolutely. Dylan, Dylan did well to create space, get his arms free, offload to his outside. He had a support runner right with him. But, you know, it says a lot about the, the mental side of this game, I think, that just now. You know, you come from a situation where we just talked about Mystic Rivers forward pack being put under a lot of pressure by being a bit, you know, I, I hate to use the word demoralized, but a bit demoralized by being pushed back and kind of walked across their line. And now they get a they get a uh, a kickoff right down on their side, and they you know they're not able to make that first up tackle, and Old Blue just capitalizes on on some miscues on, from Mr. Rivers' part. And Connor Wallace Sims perfect with conversions. And we are at 21 to seven, Old Blue over Mystic here on their home ground in the waning moments of this first half. Yeah, I like the start time. I like the you know the early start time. You still got your Saturday night ahead of you, and you got a lot of rugby you could talk about. Yeah, certainly. It's been a long day of rugby. Lots of Super Rugby, college rugby. <laughs> I've seen a few games today as Old Blue with Fujimura outside their 22. Shift a little pass in there to Tagave. Tagave steps a few. Tagave works his way around some of the defense. But taken away by Machiera. Machiera, Northeastern University graduate, takes the ball forward. Gentlemen, I'll see you after the half, going down to the field. We're going to have some interviews coming up with Matt McCarthy in just a minute. 
Now the ball gets moved to Feldman. Feldman to Kawuma. Kawuma puts in a short pass, and that gets flipped around. And off goes Chris Slater. Chris Slater holding a touch on that side there, and Mystic River can't answer. Good defense there by the back three in, uh, in Old Blue, you know, just, just buying themselves some time, kind of giving, again, that illusion of space to the outside, trusting his speed. I think that's Mike Sinclair on this side, trusting his speed, showing his opposite, the corner, and then just tracking him down and getting him out of bounds. Old Blue with the line-out throw here. Dylan Fawcett goes in to take it. Inside their own zone. See what they do here as Cam Dolan calls for a couple lifters. No problem as the ball comes into the hands of Wallace Sims. Wallace Sims right into the midfield. Slowed down by the Mystic defense. And Wallace Sims, a little more room, puts it to the left boot. But Slater for Mystic takes it, couldn't make it. Luciano is going to move it across the field quickly there into the hands of Collinson. Collinson is going to spike Armstrong, who decides to leave the ball behind him. We're going to have a knock on there, a little mistake, and it's going to be an old blue scrum just inside their half. Yeah, that's that's uh, a couple times now Old Blue has missed touch to this side on our side of the field, and, and you know, Mystic River early on in the game put themselves in good positions to score, but, you know, they, they've been, they've been uh, trying to kind of get over that line and just put the pieces together. They did well to shift the ball to the outside and then just little errors like this give Old Blue kind of a, another knock at it because, you know, in reality, Old Blue would have probably liked to have seen that ball go out of bounds. slow down here for a player getting looked at. Just a glimpse into the old blue back line here. Connor Wallace, Wallace Sims playing very deep. Loves to move the ball and shift it. You can see the centers together standing very flat. But again, Old Blue just keeping that ball in with their forward pack. And there goes Dolan. Dolan slips by a couple. Sets it nicely. And now Wallace Sims gets that opportunity with some of these runners. And Makasisi Kala was given the ball there. But we're going to come back for a penalty here against Mystic. Didn't see exactly what it was for. Oh, well, breaking off the scrum there, I believe. Yeah, again, just going back to that to that scrum dominance that Old Blue has showed all day so far. I'd say uh, Mystic's going to have a few things to talk about at halftime, Mike. Absolutely. I mean, set piece, especially on defense. You know, we, they, they, they've got to come up with a solution for the pressure that they've been put on during the scrum here. Old Blue pushes the ball downfield through the boot of Connor Wallace Sims and their forward pack walking down with intent and purpose. I think they have something on here. Yeah, again, I mean, if you're all blue, though, you're looking at this position, and it's no different than a scrum. You know, you're looking to maybe keep this tight in the forward pack, see how they stand up in the mall, give it a drive on, let the, let the boys do their work. It's like you know what you're talking about, Mike, right into a mall there, driving it forward. But uh, I don't think the ball went in straight. And it's going to be a line out here for Mystic. This is an interesting choice. Perhaps a miscue there. You can see Dylan Fawcett talking to Cam Dolan at the back of the line out, maybe talking about... Um, just being on a different page, you know, Dylan looks a bit frustrated. That's a, that's a tough spot for a hooker when you feel like the, the call didn't go quite right in that type of position. Under pressure. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. Ball comes down, quick tip. Connor Wallace Sims just on the spot. Intercepts that ball, touches it down. I think that was Connor Wallace Sims. I think Dylan, or was it? Dylan no. Fawcett. Oh, sorry. Was that yeah, Dylan, Dylan Fawcett? Dylan. Sorry. Boy, that's Dylan, you're looking good. You look like Connor Wallace Sims, but what a play there. You've been talking about him all day, Mike. I'll tell you what, that's a great way for Dylan. You know, I just I just mentioned, like, within the past 20 <laughs> seconds, Dylan being frustrated by his miscue and the line-out throw, you know, and, uh, and, and and as a hooker and as a playmaker, when you're in that position, it's tough. You feel like you've let, you've let your team down, but you come back with something like that on an intercept pass, and you time that so well. And that, But that's just the type of player that Dylan is. You know, he's – he knows and he realizes he's a professional. He knows that, uh, you know, mistakes happen and you got to be resilient and you got to have a short-term memory in this game. And that's a perfect example of, of Dylan feeling like he may have put his team under pressure by missing a throw in a critical attacking position and then turning right around and making something good happen. Looked like he almost broke a smile there. <laughs> As we move up to, uh, pretty, pretty sure Dylan does not <laughs> smile during rugby games. As I think we move up to 28. Or, sorry, 26-7. Wallace Sims 
the kicking ritual. Pondering life for a second there. Wallace Sims good again. And Old Blue extend their lead. And we're at 28-7 here in this American Rugby Premiership. Week two matchup. Yeah, you can see you can see Mystic kind of walking slowly up to this line. Uh, you know, they're probably just waiting for that halftime whistle to go so they can get back in, regroup, and reset their engines. But this this kickoff is so important for them to get a good chase on and not let Old Blue just kind of continue to get upfield and put them under even more pressure than they're already under. And Tagave, who I believe is uh, might have been selected for the the Eagles team going into this uh, upcoming tournament. Kind of a developmental side. Goes through that one and there's, Dylan Fawcett. There's that old blue pot again <laughs> off nine. Fantastic skills by their forward pack. Dylan Fawcett makes a huge amount of room finding a the gap there. And the, the gates are opening for these boys. This is a tough end of the half for Mystic River. Old blue puts it in behind. And Wallace Sims is going to go for the kick pass for St. Clair. Is he going to come down with it? No, he does not. And it is Slater. Slater into contact. Ball spins out to the side there. And into, I believe, Collinson's hands. Collinson can just push the ball back. Referee says, all's oh, cool. Let's play on. Well, they move it out to a waiting pod there. Great ball there. Great ball there by, by Mystic River to their forward pods. Right in front. Didn't have to break stride. Well done. And as you said, they're not going to give up there with that ball. Aaron pass from Feldman slips off. And he's going to go and correct it himself. Feldman, a Stony Brook product, playing up in Boston now. now great line, ball. great line. Well done by. Really good line. He just needs some help. There he goes. And now he's, he's by Luciano, himself. the captain. He is well by himself here. Goes to ground, has Kawuma coming in over that ball. And great job by these boys to get that done. As well McKenna. done. Well done. McKenna great moves it out. Yeah, Dazzo. Dazzo heads for the line. Dazzo scores a try. And just like that, 28 to 12. Mystic not want to end, the, end this half without having their say, Mike. Uh, you can see the boys are tired now, you know, as the clock ticks down in the first half. But really, really well done by Mystic to capitalize on that. I mean, to make that open field break and to find a player isolated like that, you know, you would have been kicking yourself in the locker room to have walked away, to have not walked away with points. But it's amazing to see them kind of take advantage of that opportunity. And we'll look here. That's a, that's a number three right there, throwing that wide out pass to the 13 in space. I mean, take notes, all you young front row forwards <laughs> out there. I mean, nine out of ten of them are probably just going to tuck that ball and run into contact. But that was totally, totally selfless and a great display of skill. Good Dave, field awareness as well. Dave McKenna, the Bangor, Maine native, puts that one, puts that little pass out there. Yeah, nice little piece of skill for Slater to score that try. See old blue under the post there, regathering. Mystic needed that one for sure. Absolutely, they needed that one. Going to be Spike Armstrong with this kick. Put to the boot. Looks good from here. Referee says all's cool, and at the end of the half, it's going to be 28-14. Old Blue over Mystic River in this American Rugby Premiership matchup. Mike, pretty exciting first half there. What's your, uh, what's your overall thoughts? No, I think, you know, as I mentioned earlier, the, the score may look a bit one-sided at this point, and, you know, we've seen a lot from Old Blue in the first half, but without question, do not count this Mystic River team out. I, I, I fully expect them to come out charging in the second half. Uh, and to really make this an exciting last 40 minutes of rugby. So, you know, coming up at halftime here, we're going to talk about a few things, uh, but we're going to shoot down to Matt McCarthy, who is going to bring us an interview with one of our coaches, Josh Smith. Hey, guys, here with Coach Josh, Josh Smith. I keep butchering your name, Josh, for some reason. 28-14. Uh, Does that kick good? 28-14. But for a bad pass, and Dylan Fawcett coaching one there. Yeah. You guys right in there. Right in there, we are struggling a bit in the set piece, um, as we kind of expected, but we get the shed with the boys. Scrums are a bit problematic, I know it's a bit problematic, open play, we'll see. 28-14, we're pretty happy. Yeah, I mean, you got to be happy in 28-14, way to bounce back after that, what could have been a killer, that's right. Right, yeah, yeah, we get a bit of a break on that last one. Uh, we got to tighten up the screws a bit, we get some of the young boys to come off the bench in the second half. 
And uh, stay tuned, it should be exciting. All right, we're looking for Frazier. <laughs> we'll see you, Matt. All right, see you. Cheers. Good luck. That was uh, Josh Smith, the head coach of Mystic. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Matt. Great words there from Coach Josh Smith. We're going to be back with some halftime discussion right after this. Welcome to Rocco B. Camiso Stadium here at Columbia University in New York City. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me cheap. You can say I'm lazy. You can say I.
who scores. You got Derek Lipscomb, you got uh, Cam Dolan, you got actually you got three different scores. I take that back. Derek's got two tries. And and uh, yeah, how are you doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eight, B, C. You can call me stupid Welcome back to Camiso Stadium for the second half of American Rugby Premiership action. We're Old Blue Leafs 28 to 14 over Mystic River. We're going to shoot down to Matt McCarthy for an interview. Hey guys, we're here with Coach Dom Waring. Dom, your your team's up 28 14. Uh, a couple of quick strike tries from from Mystic. You, you feel comfortable about it right now? Yeah, I feel comfortable about it now. We weathered a storm early on where they had a lot of uh, Let's go, in possession and we just absorbed that and we've now put it Let's back go, onto them and you can see whether it was mentally that, that, that they broke onto that pressure, oh, we no, got that first ball, try and then um, the, the floodgates opened and I think it was more of a lapse of concentration for, from us. We've addressed that inside and uh, we, we know if we give them a chance, up, boys, they're, they're, up. Up. They're, they're a fantastic team. But, um, I think we cleared it up, so um, yeah, it's looking good for the second. And you got two tries from your pack and two tries from your back line and you're going to hey, go on and, and pass. Yeah, holistic rugby. Yeah. Metal up, you know? No numbers on backs, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. All right, congratulations and, and back to you guys. Thanks. All right, Matt, thank you very much. Great information there. And we are getting ready for second half action. This is John Broker with Mike Petrie for this second half. And Mike, let's talk about Mystic first. Josh must have had some words in the in the locker room. What do he wants to see? Yeah, you know, I, I miss going into the locker room at halftime, and I'm, I'm kind of putting myself in their shoes a little bit and trying to think about what would be kicked around, what would be said. I mean, and, and the big message, I think, on Mystic's behalf would be just to relax, you know. I mean, there's a lot of rugby left to be played. They've shown some moments of brilliance throughout the game. Um, they've given away some, some easy ones to Old Blue without a doubt, but, you know, they, they, they put a big second half comeback in last week, even though they lost to life. But, you know, they've got a – you could imagine that their forwards were sitting there together and they will have to come up with some plan to, to take on that, that scrum at, uh, at this breakdown time. All right, and we'll talk about Old Blue in just a second, but that kickoff from Mystic in Blue results in a penalty quickly against them, and Old Blue's going to be able to, to clear their lines here. And you see Fujimara there with the ball. He's been an active scrum half in the first half. So Old Blue, you know, they're up by two tries. Like you said, Mystic had a big comeback last week. There, there's no chance to let down. And Dom Waring is not the kind of guy to tell his team to coast it out. So, you know, what's Old Blue looking for in the second half? No, absolutely not. I mean, if you're Old Blue, you're sitting in the locker room right now, and, and you're obviously quite happy with some of the things that have gone well for you. But you're, you're sitting there saying, look, our, our stick to our pattern, stick to our structure. It's working well. 
our options off of nine at the on attack are working well. We're putting all kinds of pressure on Mystic River. You know, we have runners, we have we have options off of our off of our first receivers. We have options out the back, and they've done a great job of keeping possession. So um, expect to see more of that in the second half. All right. That's the words from Mike Petrie, the man who would know right there. Been through plenty of lot of <laughs> <the> halftime <laughs> conversations in all levels of this game as the ball goes up to Old Blue, and Old Blue comes down quickly looking to get a drive on here. Well done by Mystic there to stop that first drive. That's such a that's such a big thing for them, you know, to come out like that and stop that mall right from the get-go. That makes a big statement for the second half. A little intricate work there by Old Blue. Doesn't result in much, and Cam Dolan now just has to take it in. Yamara looking for a runner. Connor Wallace-Sims puts it to Tagave. Tagave steps one. Can't quite get that pass away. Knocked on afterwards. Didn't go to hand. They we're going to have a scrum here to Mystic River. And I think they're really looking to open up those wider channels, Old Blue. Absolutely. I mean, one thing if you're Old Blue you want to take advantage of is they're very, very elusive runners. You know, they, they, they're great. They have great footwork. They're very athletic. They're able to make those first tacklers from Mystic miss. Um, and if you're on Mystic side, obviously in the locker room, one of the things you're talking about at halftime, I think going back to some of their conversations, is we've got to make those first up tackles. We've got to bring guys to deck and not allow offloads as well. And you heard Tom Weary with a refreshing... <laughs> And you heard Dom Waring refreshingly uh, say that he was confident going into the second half. You don't hear that much, right? You certainly don't hear that much. No, no it's a, you know, a bold statement there. No, no, that, but look, I, I think it, it's important. You know, when, when the coach exudes confidence, it, it permeates with the players. And, you know, if you're, if you're a player, you want to be in a locker room where your coach is confident. You know, you certainly don't want to be in a situation where you walk in and your coach either has uh, a lot of negative feedback about, about your performance. You, you really want him to step in, him or her to step in and, and really just – Continue to boost confidence, support the boys, and, and, and let, let, you know, let the guys know that the second half we're going to come together and be even better than we were the first time around. And, guys, the I was down on the pitch when Dylan, Dylan Fawcett stole that pass and, and taught, dotted it down. And then when, when Mystic answered, yep. I mean, what, what, how did you guys feel about that? Uh, we talked about it here. And Mystic, you know, had a big comeback last week in the second half, and they're going to look to do the same, same today. They're certainly not out of this by any means. As a little knock on there from Fujimara, we're going to have a scrum here to Mystic. Luciano, the captain, gets set to put it in. All right, there's, it? A, there's a whistle. Rogers didn't Can like what he saw there. Does I don't. So you scrum down to Mystic, John. Scrum down to Mystic. Sorry, I had to take a second break there to get our <laughs> Speaking slow of the show down here on Next Level Rugby. Bringing you this. Go ahead. Speaking well, of scrums, when uh, when Matt was down there at halftime on the field, John and I had stepped out of the booth to grab some fresh air, and we spoke with a couple of the Old Blue supporters uh, who were surprised at how well the Old Blue scrum was performing. Apparently last week it was a... Uh, you know, something that they that they weren't so good at and, and had a bit of problems with it. And you can see now that they've obviously put some work in this week on uh, on, on that area of their game. And a penalty there against Mystic, and that's Connor Wallace-Sim to Tagave. Gets it quickly in hand, moves it out to Perez. Perez gets it to St. Clair. St. Clair bumps one, steps another. St. Clair barreling his way into the try zone and try awarded. Wow. Mike well St. Clair quickly in the second half is going to get them on the board. Another try for this old blue team, and that's a way to start a half, Mike Petri. Well, that's a that's a super heads up play. I mean, you know, we, one of the comments I wanted to make earlier was there's got to be some point somewhere from some team to inject some pace into this, and that was the right opportunity to do it. You know, um, kind of a slow low in the game at the start. Um, you know, Mystic a bit, you know, slow to retreat, and just some fantastic work there to kind of kickstart this with, a, with just a light quick tap to get the Old Blue on the front yeah, foot. Yeah, just again, power here. And again, just power from the outside, and not to mention, again, just making always those Mystic first defenders miss those first tackles. And it was off a little miscue by Jihad Kabir has come into the game at fly half for Mystic. The uh, AIC, well, almost grad, but I think he's in his fifth year there. Played uh, Bulldog rugby in the summer, got accomplished sevens player, an All-American. Doing very well. And Josh, our check Jared. Our executive producer, Ryan Ginty, okay. very high, at, uh, high on Javar. Yeah, Jihad Kabir, I've had the pleasure of coaching and working with him. We've now got uh, Tim Fury in the booth here from Tradeview, one of the big sponsors in town, and uh, Matt McCarthy is going to take it away. So, Tim, welcome. Bienvenue in New York. Uh, thank you. All right, it's good to see you, as always. Yes. Uh, you like you like seeing what you're seeing from Old Blue right now? They're looking good. Yeah. Yeah. So, Tim. Uh, they're, they're looking nice and young. Tim, what position? 
did you play? Yeah, I, I played flanker. Flanker. So yeah. what would you be doing differently out here? Uh, pick up the ball. Me? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't be out here. I'm too old. Ah, oh, yeah. too old. Come on. So yeah, look, it looks like it's a painful game the way they're playing it these days. Well, they are fit and fast. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about uh, Trade View. Uh, Trade View, uh, what we did is we've been around for about 12 years. It's called Trade View Markets, where we uh, kind of like an e-trade, where we're on, on online forex. Leave it white. Company. Leave it blue. And we referee Jim Rogers interrupting our conversation. <laughs> yeah. Away blue. So what, what what we have is clients around the, around the world. We have about fifty thousand clients from around the world, and what they do is they just go on the internet and trade, day trade, all day, all night, twenty four hours a day. And how did you get into the rugby with the trade view? Uh, well, the thing is, uh, when back in the days when we started it, about 10, 12 years ago, we uh, uh, we just grew something leave big, away, and I just hired. Away just hired rugby guys because we were growing fast and they're all my friends so <laughs> at one point i think we had uh ten, right ten, 10 rugby just guys leave. teammates uh working Away, in the same white seven. and are you still friends uh, yeah okay. believe it or not believe right. it or not some have moved on uh some we you know they, they brought the rugby mentality uh in the office a little too much uh going out wrecking it all night yeah. and then coming Don't in and miss. trying to work you know, I, I, hear, I, just, I hear this all over the rugby world. So I, I had the pleasure of doing the Army-Navy game last year, talking to a guy named a five-star general, Sparky Renforth, and he was talking about a big mission in Iraq that they did, and we said, what did you do? He said, I hired all my rugby five buddies. Meters from. This seems to be a thing that goes on, is it's, uh, you find your rugby friends and think your success is uh, in the offing. Yeah, you'd, you'd be surprised five meters because, uh, you know, they're winners on the field, and then when they come in the office, they're, they're winners there. They're, they're hardworking people. More importantly, they're, they're loyal. So the comp you know, when you run a company, it doesn't always go straight up. Uh, you're gonna have some bumps in the road, and that's where, you know, guys that know how to, you know, dig in when the times are tough. Uh, those are rugby guys, you know, where other guy people will just leave you. So is this are, is this a precursor or foreshadowing of uh, TradeView getting involved in Major League Rugby? Well, uh, we uh, are sponsors of uh, USA Rugby now for the U20 team. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just. Uh, how about signed the professional up, side? Signed up with them uh, about four months ago. Well, you know, our goal right now is, you know, we could do two things. We can, we can sponsor professional teams. We can pay a lot of money for that, and the professional teams are not the ones that need the money. And real quick before we get back to this interview, it looks like Cam Tolan scores his second try of the day as Old Blue extends their lead here against Mystic River in this American Rugby Premiership match on Next Level Rugby. Hey, guys, I was too busy reading my trade view notes to, to, to <laughs> notice whether St. Clair's conversion was was converted by Wallace Sims. We'll find that out in a minute. So, Tim, tell us about the, the U-20 partnership. I mean, that's a, just a great up-and-coming, you know, program. And you know, why the yeah. U-20s? Uh, we, well, we wanted to get involved with USA Rugby. Uh, you know, it's a nice big name. And we want to help the, the youth program, so we, we, you know, we're more out towards um, helping youth programs grow mm -hmm. than than you know than the older guys. All right, fantastic. So uh, we have a kick to come here from not Connor Wallace Sims this time. Oh, it is Connor Wallace Sims. Sorry, I was looking at <laughs> personally <laughs> outside of the ball. You're watching. A, you're watching his tea caddy yeah, right now, which yeah. I think is Jeremy Hansen. <laughs> And he's going to hate that I said that about him. Wallace Sims strikes it well. Oh, he just <laughs> nailed that one. And wow. the conversion. We are moving ahead here. Uh, Mike, did S Mike St. Clair make the conversion? <laughs> uh, did I mean, did... Uh, on, that's not an answer to the question. <laughs> We're coming back in the game here. So, Tim, thanks so much for coming in to talk about Trade View a little bit. We're going to get back to... Second half action yeah. here. Any it. final I'm words off. you want to give us? Time's off. Any well, pump I'm up off. for the company? Uh, Any yeah. advice on how to run the <laughs> office up here? Hey, man, you know, we're here to, to support the kids and not really talk about us. That's that's fine. All right. Uh, that's cool. it, it's all fun, but uh, hopefully some of these guys Gosh, will become uh, our future okay, workers. Go, you know? So uh, if we find a good guy or go, a good guy that wants to come in the old blue, uh, you know, those that's how we give them jobs. And where uh, are you guys based? One of the companies that do it. Oh, we're based here in New York City, okay. uh, Madison Square Park. 
Awesome. Right. Yeah, and yeah. congratulations on, on sponsoring those under 20s. Yeah, thank you. It's good so, stuff. So finance grads, come to Old Blue and bring your resume. Good. Yeah, that's right. Come on Let's down. This is right. Tim Fury, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for stopping <laughs> in. Tim, okay, cheers. Support. You got it. Thank you. All right, and we are back in second Ow. half action here. As the beautiful smells of New York City waft through our booth. And it is Jihad Kabir ball in hand. Kabir, Rock. a difference maker there. The Last foot three. Makes a lot of things happen as the ball goes up to Big Dave McKenna. McKenna across the 50 meter line. Kabir one more time. Finds a little gap there. Slips a pass away to Kawuma. Kawuma in touch, or nearly in touch. Able to get that done. And penalty against Kawuma for trying to help out too, a little too much there. The referee's going to want to have a little conversation, I believe. No, and, he didn't. And nope. guys, uh, just so you know, I've had my abacus and slide ruler Very out, good. and I've I think I've got all of the tries converted all right. uh, by Connor Wallace Sims. So it's 42-14. Mike Petrie's going to check that math in his <laughs> free time here while we, while we get back to the, the ball that did not get kicked out into touch. Yeah, penalty attempt there. Penalty kick attempt there to put it in a touch does not work. And Kabir moves it across. And hauled down. I think it was Chris Slater. <laughs> advantage offside. Seven. Offsides. Penalty advantage there. But... Mystic happy Still to playing have a run with it. They've got a free play. So oh, this goes in. big impact there. Dylan Fawcett makes a big hit. Leave it white. Kabir, Kabir. A little slow getting that pass away, but he's getting that secondary little pop off, and it's working really well for him. Oh. The ball doesn't come back to hand for him. But knock on advantage. advantage there for Old Blue. Old Blue, Connor Wallace Sims moves it out. That's Schwartz. And Tagave. Tagave has some room to run now. We've been waiting to see. Drops one. Cannot put the pass away again, Tagave. Ball in a touch. Time. And, you know, he's not finding his teammates that well. He's had a couple of drops here off of his passes. Yeah, you know, I mean, that, that's, that's just part of the game. It's, uh, it's unfortunate. I'm sure he's, he's frustrated by that. But, you know, it happens. Like, uh, it's, we've seen it a couple yeah. times throughout the day from, from different players all over the place. But one thing I did, I did want to mention, um, you know, you've seen Mystic here making a couple Time of good mark. line breaks. And, and uh, that could be attributed, actually. You may not be able to see it on your screen, but it's attributed to Old Blue coming out of their line quite a bit. You know, when, when you get a score line like this, uh, you oftentimes will see teams where guys come out to make a big play. And, and Mystic River is having a little bit of patience to be able to recognize those opportunities to take advantage of shooters in the line. And Damar Morrison gets that ball away, and Tagave oh. that time connects to Lipscomb, but Lipscomb has the ball ripped out Please. of his hands. Well done to strip that ball. Yeah. And never penalty released. against Quick for never releasing never there. Released. And Mystic can get out of this one. Kawuma decides to take it quick. No, guys, I'm the the Mark's over here. Back. Took it behind me. I can't see it. Now, that no look pass was reminiscent of a Ryan Ginty in the Honor Cup <laughs> down in D.C. <laughs> this year. Not, not kidding. Ryan Gitty, of course, the man on a rugby mission from Next Level Rugby. Our executive producer here today. And Mystic now pushes the ball. Another lucky fan gets to catch one. Thanks, and we're going to have a line out here. Diego yeah. Quiera Me in the middle. Okay. to put the ball in. Nice little play there by, uh, by Old Blue. We saw that, that switch on the side that you guys were talking about. And for those of you young rugby players out there watching this, guys and girls, it's a tough it's a tough decision to make as a wing on the outside, whether to hold your line right on that touch line and tiptoe down the side or cut back inside. And it takes some experience to recognize when is the right opportunity to cut back in. And a little spill Stone there man. from uh, Devin Ibanez, the flanker, and the ball goes to St. Clair. St. Clair with that same power, but gets held down. Not held, play on, not held. the 22, not, not held, takes a little more room. And the ball is into... Dave shot in his hand. You know, we're gonna, the Father Time is not looking kindly upon Mystic right now. They're going to have some Mystic magic coming at us, John. Yes, they are going to have some Mystic magic coming at us as they're trying to hold somebody up right there. But Fujimara, oh, push one away. And hang on a sec. The referee has. Leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. A little kerfuffle Everybody there, a little uh, clothesline, back Mike. Away. I think they call that swing in the handbags, if I'm not uh, back mistaken. Away. Back away, back away, back up. Is it, it Mike, is, it, when, when scrum halves get into it, is it like the goalies in ice hockey, <laughs> skating all the way to mid ice and then having to go through the, the motions? No, no, but, but, but in fairness, you, you know, you, you, know, you love, uh, as a yellow card, you don't like to see that, but, but obviously as a, uh, 
as a number nine and just in general as a as a philosophy of play you know there was a late hit coming in from from uh, yeah from mystic river on, on his opposite there and you know well done by old blue to kind of hold their ground and stand up for stand up for your players now mike that's you know that that's the captain and scrum half luciana going out going out of the yellow cars is scrum half that that poses a lot of issues for a team here yeah, it's a bit unlucky. Maybe, you know, he's, he's probably walking off feeling like he probably would have liked to have kept his composure a bit more. Probably a sign of frustration with the way things have been going so far um, throughout the game for Mystic River. But, you know, all in all, he uh, he's, he's trying to be a spark. You know, you got to you got to give him credit. He's trying to make something happen, trying to light a fire in his team. And if it's if it's a yellow card and, and stirring up, stirring up something like that, that, that gets him going, then it may be well worth it. We'll, we have yet to see. Ball sails over the tail that time. Can't get there. Kaluma picks it up and. On the go is Mystic River. Mystic River going to try to make something out of this. As across the 50 they go, wow. short-handed. A little slip of the ball there, and ball is, <laughs> ball was popped up. It looked like Jihad Kabir that ball was popped up too. But we're going to come back as he tiptoed in a touch, and it's going to be a line out here for Old Blue. I, I, I'm just no, loving the fact pass. that they came down there short-handed and roared right back. Look at that. Just number 22 making it, making a name for himself there. Jeremy, uh, sorry, that's... Christian Adams, yeah, if I'm Christian not mistaken. Adams. Now, he played with Old Blue a little bit during some summers. He, uh, another AIC guy, he moved up to Boston now, playing with Mystics. So oh, AIC, my pal, players landing everywhere. At least for the next. My pal Trevor uh, Cassidy is in for Old Blue, and Trevor's had it rough the last couple of years with some injuries. It's good to see him on the pitch. It's worth mentioning that the referee again is out there by himself in this moment, and to have <laughs> yeah. caught that, that out of bounds on the uh, tiptoeing down the touchline is is credit to him. Well done. I spoke to Jim Rogers, the referee, at halftime. I said, uh, "How do you feel about how do you feel about doing this by yourself?" He goes, "I don't, I don't like it." I said, "But they're both being nice to me." I said, "Wait for the pie in the face." <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. As Papura there, talk to his opposite number. Can I sneak an editorial in? If you must. Can we stop yelling at referees in America, guys? <laughs> We're trying to say that rugby's different. That's it. End of editorial. Yeah. I am not a big yell the referee guy. Fine! As Yuki Mara. Great you. shot there. You see the Moore Morris, another AIC player. And move from Boston to New York. Out of the, the other way around. Out of the pocket! Out of the pocket! No, it's not out. And referee Rogers telling out. Fujimara he's got to move. And this whole blue pack getting the square. This old oh, blue pack is getting nice the move on there. Here. St. Clair, huh? Yeah, St. Clair is very active in the second half as here comes Lipscomb, Lipscomb. <laughs> driven in a touch. Good work there by Christian Adams. We've been talking about Derek Lipscomb no, quite a bit uh, this evening and, you know, just, just just a little something for Derek there and for some of the young wingers, if you notice. I don't know if you'll see the replay or not, but as Derek got that ball on that right-hand side, he kept the ball tucked in his left hand. He probably, if he would like to have that one back, I'd imagine that he would like to transfer that into his right hand, keep his left arm out. He's a strong fella create some separation he may have been able to get past there but as it is uh well done by mystic to have gotten him into touch yeah Five christian ball, adams who's played plenty of sevens with Five Derek Lipscomb, able to push him out there as here once again gets set to put the ball in frazier takes it down the ball moves to even as even as spilled that last time oh, but six. this time breaks the line as the ball gets moved out and it's slater now yeah, playing no, strong half kawuma kawuma Oh, Doesn't have yeah. a runner with him, right. so back up, White! White! It's a half gap through the line there. Right next to Brandon. Slater, the yeah. fill-in scrum half, come in from wing. Back foot, get it. Gets it, Machiara. Away, 13! Kabir. Kabir not getting that pass away, but then finding the room. He's That's certainly a danger man here as he pops the ball up to Big Dave McKenna. The ball slides out back. Kawuma gets a tough one. Not a knock on, play on. Soccer game breaks out for about 30 seconds Rock. there, and we're back in. Mystic. 30 seconds too long Through on Derek soccer. Lipscomb able to make, no, no, make no, no, something no. happen there. Turns over the ball, tries to take it quick. Yeah, but what happened? He caught a knock on that side. Yeah, it was over. You can hear Kawuma questioning the ref, but I think ref there, Rogers yeah. has made of decisions. You were on. Yeah. I, yeah. Wallace Sims now pushes it down. 
And uh, Mike Petri, great attacking option, great attacking position here for this old blue team. Yeah, this is a great platform for little blue, and you can imagine they'll go back to you know to what's been working for them all game. Try to keep it tight, you know, especially with the with the scrum half out. Uh, and, you know, off well, for ten minutes, there's there's going to be no Marshall at the back from Mystic River to help organize. So you know, it'll be be interesting to see what all blue does here. But I, if you know, if I'm all blue, we're, we're keeping this tight and we're trying to march this forward as much as we can to suck in that Mystic defense. Mike, how itchy are Just you right now <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10 <laughs> to get out there? I don't know. When I came in, it, there's, the, oh! one of the things I mentioned was these, I feel like it's, you know, it's not been that long, but the boys got a lot bigger since then. <laughs> <move. laughs> a very ball. short period of time. And here we have a big ball. rumble through there, and we'll see who touches that try down. Is that Dylan Fawcett again? Uh, yep, it Dylan. is indeed. Dylan Fawcett the comes up, and the Butcher has scored another try as Old Blue continues to extend their lead. And that's just sheer hard work there, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it's it's you know it's almost predictable at this point when you get and you get old blue in these situations where they're able to go to uh, a set piece where they're able to use the strength of their forward pack. <laughs> Here's another shot of it for you as Rumble of Bodies comes up and Fawcett just sees the space, touches it down, no problem. John is um, is a, a no hitter in baseball the equivalent of a kicker making all his conversions? Because I did tell. Connor, I said you're four for four, but I'm not going to tell you that <laughs> at halftime. We'll see what they put a little wager on this. We'll see how he does. You're not supposed to ever tell a pitcher he's throwing a no-hitter, yeah. right? So we'll see if the McCarthy jinx is alive and well here in New York City. I don't think it's got any bearing on this guy's <laughs> athletic ability. Sims pushes that one across. <laughs> I don't think, I think it was wide. before we speak too soon. That was wide. <laughs> that was no good. But in fairness to Connor, I think I had mentioned earlier, he may not have been Old Blue's first choice kicker, and I think at this point he's definitely, if he's not uh, already, he, he's, he's certainly put his hand up to yeah. be uh, to be Old Blue's first choice kicker. I, I think he's earned his wages today. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm just trying to remember back to, you know, this spring pass, the, the spring exhibition season with Rooney and whether or not he was uh, – he was having some shots at goal, and I and I, I can't I can't picture him having having any, but perhaps I am wrong. It's I'm not sure. 47-14. I've got uh, with uh, John. How much time do we have left? We're about uh, halfway through this second half of American Rugby Premiership action here on Next Level Rugby. Just to reset here. This is John Broker with Mike Petri and Matt McCarthy bringing you exciting action here as Old Blue rumbles towards the halfway line. Old Blue's got a lot of space back. in behind. Oof, there is Mi no one back there. Mystics brought one of their back three players into play nine, and so there really is just nobody in the backfield for Acres Mystic right now. And we have another little. How are you doing? Yeah, another little meet and greet. I got that, I got it, all right, I got it. Well done by Mystic River there. Go after your own, Chris, break that 13. up. So bit being escorted away Stop. by Chris Frazier. Yeah, well done by Frazier. Go after your own. Pull him away. Jeffrey wants to speak to Dazzo. Play, play smart. Tell him this is an American football. <laughs> you can't pick somebody up and drop them, okay? I didn't drop them. I placed them there. Back up. Back up. It's gonna be pretty much, you pretty much uh, st tells the story. Captain? Cam? Is Cam on still? No. Dartmouth Dylan, debater Dylan, wants Dylan, to discuss the penalty. You've got to calm everybody. The referee is going to. Okay? I know. I know. I know they are. I know. But. I know, I know, I know, but I'm. Um, Good messages from the referee there, just trying to calm these sides down as Wallace Sims pushes it down into another great attacking position. Absolutely, well done by the referee to kind of reset the tone there. I mean, you want to see some rugby played, you don't want to see these side scuffles. There you go. But you got to love the fact that both teams are still going at it this past you know, and that, and that, that speaks volumes for both the clubs. Oh, absolutely. Both teams, as you mentioned earlier, are going to bring a lot of passion to this game, and it's seven and even still in now, what are we, in the 60th minute at this point, maybe halfway through the second half or so. Ball goes up to one of the players wearing number seven. I think it's Schwartz. And goes around the back there to attack. And Eric Tack. Tack on attack. Away, Blue! Attack on Leave attack. Leave it, Blue! Leave it, Blue! Jamara digging it. Well done by Mystic Wallace there to Sims. slow that ball down. But a great line. Wallace great Sims line. gets it out. And Derek Lipskin going to score again off of Dylan Fawcett. What a great little move there. We're going to get a good replay of that, I'm sure. Throw the hat. Fantastic work. What a try, Mike. Yeah, these are these are these little flash plays that you can run off your first receiver. You see them often run by wings, but now as you know, as more of these forwards are, as we mentioned, the old blue forward pack is very athletic. You know, you'll start with a receiver inside, 
inside of your first receiver, and at the last second they'll flash around. You can see the replay of it here. He looks inside, and then all of a sudden a little flash out by Dylan Fawcett there, and then great skills to be able to put it to his outside. You'll see Dylan on the inside. All of a sudden, Connor steps that direction, uh, 30 seconds, so after the puts kick, the defense offset a little bit, and yeah. opens up a ton of space for Dylan. It's, it's, it's a great move. Takes takes some real talent to execute something like that, so well done by both those players. And that's a hat trick for, uh, for, for Lipscomb. Lipscomb. Got to throw them on all the right. field, everybody. <laughs> We're on the ice. Yeah, I mean, if we saw that. I mean, Fawcett could have just stepped off his right and probably taken him in himself, but unselfishly gets that ball to Lipscomb for his, uh, for his hat trick. Now, Mike, if you're kicking your conversions and you've got Hanson standing there waiting <laughs> for the tee, isn't that going to – isn't that – that's an – I find everything annoying, right? <laughs> yes, you But do. that's annoying. You're a pure New Yorker, Matt. That's why. And – and McCarthy shakes <laughs> in again as Connor Wallace Sims misses his second kick of this oh half. My. <laughs> oh my, am I sorry, I know, Connor I know, Wallace Sims? I know, Mental skills coach Matt McCarthy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all fairness, the jinx doesn't exist because he nailed the first couple after the halftime. Okay. Right? When I actually said it. Until to you him. brought it up. Again. Until you brought it up with the broadcast when on, he started missing. On camera. As Kabir on puts mic, one yeah. up and Fawcett, obviously Run. very active in this game. And Wallace Sims Pulled. tries to get some now space. Good. Christian Adams takes it down, looks at Lipscomb, Ooh. runs over Derek Lipscomb, which does not happen very Ooh. often. Lipscomb gets a hold of a shoe, and in from the side, it's going to be and penalty for Mystic. Four. Beer. Over there. Right on eight. He's already on. Good, good clearance there by Connor Wallace Sims, you know, to uh, to put that ball out by midway on the touch line. But you know, you look at all that space you're giving Mystic River there, so it's no surprise that you give him a full head of steam. A player like that, that's a tough tackle to make, you know. And, and uh, he just showed his raw power there to just power Powers through it. Block. But but again, just you know, that kick he chase needs to be a bit better in terms of getting on that ball quicker. So you gave you know you gave uh, you gave the receiver about a good 10 meters there to get ahead of steam. And I gotta say, I love the transition graphics by Next Level Rugby here. I'm gonna say it. Sorry. Blue. Blue, set the whole Love line, it. please. And as uh, it's full. as you pointed out, Mike, this Mystic full. team is not going to give up. So here they are down pretty good deficit in the second half. Let's go. And a line out. They want some more points out of this. It would be good. To, yeah, it would be definitely there? good to see Mystic put some points down. Place for Booker, Haxton. Unlucky there, yeah. Yeah, ball comes down to Lipscomb. Three tries, but not going to get one yeah, there. Definitely. Coming the full distance of the Always field. Good. And Wallace Sims. Steps off a couple feet and puts up probably a little bit of an ill-advised chip Three kick. And, and Mystic has the ball back. Kawuma. Thebus couldn't handle that one, though. We'd yeah. love to see Mystic go back to basics here, go through the phases. You know, in the first half, they showed moments of brilliance of that. They just keep the ball. They keep possession. They stick to their patterns. You know, I have a feeling good things are going to happen here for Mystic. And they are putting those phases away. Runners either way as the ball comes out to one of their big fellas. Another off-the-ball scuffle there. Leave it white! Leave it white! Quickly sorted out. And here they come through one of their big reserves. Tackle! Good patience here by Back. Mystic River. And Ibanez always finding a little seam here, the blindside no, flanker. And then it's lost forward by White. Lost forward their uh, scrum advantage here for Mystic. They're not going to want to go through advantage. that. And they put the big fella, Eric Casita, in there. Play on. And unlucky. It's a great so stick by Jimmy Sheridan, by the way, defensively for Old Blue. Guys. But we're going to come back here. Guys, enough. Right, a little scuffle here. The referee wants to have a conversation. Hey guys, we'll find hey out what their call was. I got 10 minutes to go in this game. I'm by myself. Let's cut the shit, please, okay? I can only do so much, all right? <laughs> I know, I know. So we're not guided by FCC yeah. rules, I don't well, believe, in this one. So excuse us, everybody at home, yeah. for yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my cables. kids. <laughs> it's gonna be a hey, look, he's in his 70th minute. He's been doing this show by himself all day long. He's, and he's frustrated. He's, They've been he's, fighting. He's, he's done well to go this long without <laughs> losing his cool. Hey, we found out the official yeah. time left. Yeah, 10 yeah. minutes left to go, according to <laughs> referee Jim Rogers. Sorry, he's going to have a word yes. with uh, Mystic I'm River. It's going to be a Mystic scrum. Dylan Fawcett there, if there wasn't that earlier knock-on, was nearly gone for a 90-meter run. If he could, he can make it happen. Okay, White, let's go. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to head down and see if we can't uh, get some interviews on the pitch after the match. Here's so Mark Bellis, I right? will see you Lost after on White. the other side. <laughs> on a poach. Time's on. Time is on. And now we have Crouch. 
Mystic attacking Strum, fighters out. Set. Using their backs here, yep. Yeah. Short runner, good run, short Oof. run. Uh, Kabir tried to put it to Kawuma. Doesn't happen there, but we have a referee okay. spots a knock on us being a scrum for Old Blue, and they're going to be able to. They're going to be able to get out. Just a bit of background there, it, um, you know, John, as you look at what's happening on the field right now, for some of the younger players that may be watching, you know, you, you take a look at the setup from a, from a defensive position and try to get it, an inkling of what the attack's going to do. Obviously, that doesn't help when, yeah. the, when it gets blown up like that. But, you know, when you go back to Mystic's opportunity just now, um, you know, there's always a question of whether or not Mystic's number eight's going to run. And, and usually the, there's a giveaway when the number eight's going to run. It's a little bit tighter in the back line. Uh, and in that particular position, the Mystic back line was spread a little bit. Their centers were flat. So you can almost see that it was just going to be that 10 to 12 straight crash ball. And it's exactly what they did. It just didn't come off the way they had hoped. Uh, and Connor Wallace like Sims gets them out of, out of trouble there after a penalty, moving it downfield. And we are at 52 to 14 here in this American Rugby Premiership matchup. Time's off. Time's off. Time is off, according to the referee. Yeah, yeah. We make he's some our, changes here. For a little while. Oh, oh, no. I'm sorry, guys. Time was off for a sub. Referee still holding time off there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah. Time is on, guys. Time is now on. All right. We are good to go here. Just under 10 minutes to go in this matchup. as Old Blue puts it up in a little bobble ball there from their replacement scrum half. Leave it now, Blue! Leave it, Blue! No, that was Jeremy ball. Hansen. Old Blue able to maintain the ball here. Use it! A little pick and go from their own end. Away. They got some runners out wide there. Seven minutes. The referee given the time there is Connor Wallace Sims spots a huge bit of space back there, rolls it in behind Kabir. Aki Raymond coming back on that as the ball rolls in a touch. And Fine Aki play. Raymond decides to go quick to Kabir. Let's see what these two electric players can do. And there goes Kabir hauled down around the 50 meter line. Rock. And Mystic not done by any means here. They're going to set one up in the midfield, one of the big fellas. Trying to get organized. He wants it out the back, you can see, but he's not quite getting it. And Phoebus there carries Eight. it to about the 40 meter line. Well, good power there. Yeah, well done. Mystic again just needs to take him through phases, take Old Blue through phases. Lit. Referee whistles it up, and we have another scuffle here. This game may end early if we don't uh, watch out. Let's see who this was now. Shotten. Dylan Fawcett takes umbrage to a new Let's player the on the field. Up, Both captains, please. Fawcett We're getting to the point where I turn around now. and I see somebody wrestling on the ground. They're both going. Okay? So it's got to stop. It stops over six minutes and 30 seconds to go in the game. It stops. Okay? Talk to him. He's 24. We both had a word, right? Yeah. I know. I know. There's one person starting this. I know. Talk to him. Who is it? Bill, long haired guy. Uh, I got him. Can you yep. give me two, uh, 10 yep. seconds? Yep. You got time? We're going to start with a scrum over here. Both captains and the referee agree who they have to talk to. That's uh, not too common, Mike. No, but you know what? That the, I'm, I'm really impressed there by uh, Mystic River, and, and all you know, I think that's uh, who's their captain. It's there. all going to be that, that was uh, know. Fraser stepping in. Fraser, yeah. I mean, he, he's really showing a lot of composure. I, you know, being under a lot of pressure. His team's been under pressure all day. You know, he's walked in. He's been accountable for some of the stuff that's been going on. Time is on. He's, you know, he's, he's he's wanted to look after his own guys, and that's that's a sign of a good leader. So so well done. Yeah, great class act down at Mystic, Josh. You know. Josh Smith is not a cheap shot coach. He wants his players to play classy. He wants his coach. players to play well. So we're going to have a mystic scrum here. Just a six-minute mark. Set. Mystic River loading up the one side, maybe trying to set up something over to the right-hand side of that scrum. 
turn the ball but over, however. Turned. Yeah, but it's been turned. Ball was out. Mystic. Now release, Blue! Release, Blue! Leave it, leave it. It's that done, and Connor Wallace Sims content to play the territory game at the moment. Pounds it down. Good coverage, though, to retreat by Mystic and cover that space in behind. Kabir, ball in hand. Slides it wide out there. What vision on Jihad Kabir to put it out. Great ball, yeah. Dazzo's hands. Dazzo. Play on. Smacks Back. Kabir in the face, unfortunately. Back. But. Foot. Boy, it's a bit of a mess right now. <laughs> I keep trying to call something, and all these things keep happening as the ball gets popped around, but comes back Mystic's way now. And here is the big number 24 from Mystic. Tons of space in behind for Mystic. I know you guys, you folks watching on television might not be able to see it, but tons of space in behind. But again, Mystic River probably just wants to keep control of the ball here, hold on to possession, not kick it away. But we'll see what they decide to do. And there is Slater. Wriggling his way towards oh, wait, the 50-meter line. Now they're coming back around, looking for some runners there. Trying to move wide, and Ibanez has been very active tonight. He's able to wriggle through one tackle. Not the biggest flanker going, but it's turned Last it over one. that time. <laughs> turned it over and knocked it on. We're going to have a scrum here at the 50-meter line, just over five minutes to go in this game. Things are winding down here, Mike. Yeah, just starting to get a bit messy, isn't it? You know, it's the end of the game. Both teams feeling a bit frustrated in a number of ways, and it's been a long night for both teams, obviously, and uh, everybody's just trying to make something happen from nothing, and that tends to be the outcome is nothing yeah. actually happens. Yeah, I mean, if you really if you look at it, I mean, uh, Mystic River is in the uh, Mystic River is in the kitchen sink mode right now. They're trying everything they can to get some more points on the board, and I think Old Blue would be happily resting in the Ouch. locker room if they had their choice. Fine. Blue. Now Old Blue out to the wing. I think that was uh, a new player to the game, actually, Bassan. Yeah, he can, not touch. Now G Bassan, Bassoon. Good defense there by Mystic Guru to shut down that space on the outside. Bassoon, that wing, another project. I think he was at Oklahoma, a great running back. They've just uh, won a couple of national titles. They've just turned him into a wing here in Old Blue. That's the middle. As we're set for a late line out here to Mystic River. Make sure they're all in before you start. Not the prettiest of passes goes up, and Old Blue knocks it back. Play on. Boss, I can't quite handle that one. Mystic River pours it on across the 50 meter line. <laughs> Penalty there Rutgers against Old Blue that time. Rutgers form. Just wait. 23. Jihad Kabir goes quick. Jihad Kabir looking to make something happen late in this game. Connor Wallace Sims able to scoop it up. Calmly puts it in a touch. And we're going to have a line out here. Yeah, nice okay. kick by Connor Wallace Sims. So just inside the half, Mystic getting one of their later shots at it. Just wait. No, wait. Right. Just wait. Ball, they had somebody there. Just wait. Oh. You were just wait. And this match is winding oh, down here pretty much in referee's time at this point. Just seen a short line out here from Mystic River, maybe trying to use some of their power in the midfield, stay away from those those one-on-one -on -one positions with their forwards on forwards. So it looks like Go! Old Blue is going to take this one. Away. <laughs> Frustrating Mystic for Mystic. Gets a late penalty. Yeah, not rolling away, but they're going to keep going here. If you're Mystic River, you just want to get quick ball at this point as quick as you can. Mm -hmm. Away, wait! So Mike, as we're winding this down here, let's uh, let's start with Mystic River. Why don't you give us just you know a couple players that stood out to you, who you thought had a great day there? Back. Back up. We're going to keep the play rolling. Kabir now. Rock. We move back around on the Mystic side there. Sorry, just so had Mike a big, yeah. big connection there. No, sorry. As we're rolling down here, who <laughs> are a couple of the Mystic players that really stood out for you? Our, uh, our number eight from Mystic River, Chris Frazier, I think for me, is, is, uh, has been a real a real presence in this game. You know, he, he had that, that one long break earlier. He's brought a cool head and, and a tough day for Mystic River all game long. 
Um, you know, and that's a tough position to be in, especially as a number eight who, who probably thrives on just going forward all day long. And um, so credit to him. He's done a great job of Away keeping white. composure and, and really just trying to get his team on the front foot as often as he can. Now we picked the man of the match here from Old Blue, but a couple of standout players there. Who's, who advantage. stood out for you? No, I mean, as I mentioned, as I mentioned, Connor Wallace Sims is, has been kind of everywhere all day long, yes. making things happen, moving the ball into space. Um, it's been really exciting to watch Dylan Fawcett, um, not just because of his hat trick today, but more importantly because of the way that he moves the ball into space. You know, he's Seven. he's a good target off nine, and and uh, you know the way that he's able to open up and release his back when, th when he throws those passes out the back is is, is something extraordinary to watch. And uh, that wraps it up because that is our man of the match. Our trade view man of the match is Dylan Fawcett, just bringing a lot Fast of energy forward. to this old blue team. Well deserved today. Great team effort, like you're right. Connor Wallace Sims, Derek Lipscomb scores a hat trick. You know, really good players across the board. But uh, Dylan Fawcett has just brought an energy to this game. He has. You can't he just has. really put into words. He has. And I think, you know, he, he's probably been. Uh, you know, the man behind the, the scrum doing so well today. You know, he's at the front of that engine room. He's, he's talking to his boys, Pat, you know, probably getting them psyched up for just about every breakdown. And, and they've had an outstanding day, all eight of the old blue forward pack. And I think that, that that permeates from Dylan's energy that he's brought all game long. So we roll late on this game. A nice shot of the booth up here. Approach! <laughs> Thank you, boys. Fine. Thank you to our producer, Ryan Ginty, the man on a rugby Cut. mission. Next level rugby. Bringing rugby to the masses, rugby production at affordable prices. You're looking to get your games done. Contact Ryan Rickinty at gmail.com. Next Level Rugby, bringing you the best that USA Rugby has to offer. <laughs> As a game comes to an end, and it is Old Blue topping off. I think 52 to 14 is where we still are. As Old Blue tops Mystic River in this American Rugby Premiership game. Really just a phenomenal game, a lot of good action there. Mike, what made a difference for you? No, I think, you know, Old Blue just, just showed class all game long. You know, they came out early, and as I mentioned, um, you know, the, with, with Dom Waring at the, at the helm, um, they showed their strength in a number of different ways. They showed their fitness. They showed their quality footwork to, to be elusive in contact. Um, you know, and I think that they just were a little bit too much today for Mystic to handle. And, uh, but credit to Mystic. You know, we, we mentioned that um, they were a team with a, with a very resilient attitude. They were relentless and never wanted to give up, and they certainly made it an exciting contest throughout the, throughout the evening. They certainly did. Coach, waiting for things to wrap up a second here. We're going to have some interviews coming in. But while we do it, we also, Mike Petrie, have an accomplished author in our booth right here. Let's talk a little bit about uh, ours for rugby. Uh, look, the, the most exciting thing so far is that, uh, for those that don't know, it's a, it's a children's book about rugby. Uh, I kind of wrote it for fun, but it's, it's at this point now in time uh, surpassed 5,000 copies sold. Really? Around the world. One more time! Yeah. 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 Come puts one down for Old Blue, and uh, early try there for this Old Blue. Exciting, and that's what's going to bring rugby in this country to the next level. Is starting the kids very young, getting them to watch games like this. Um, you know, just being immersed in the entire culture of our sport, I think, is so important. And and you know, the the most rewarding thing so far for me, to be honest, though, has been the pictures that I get from the people that you know, families reading the book, sharing it, uh, you know, before bed and uh, or, or at any time really during the day. But it's 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 pretty remarkable, and and to be honest, I still can't believe it. And uh, it'll be 5001 when I buy mine sometime <laughs> this week. But where can people pick that up? Uh, it's available on Amazon, actually. Uh, so you can check that out. And, and certainly if, uh, if th yeah, there's, there's quite a few people out there who buy them for baby showers and um, all sorts of events. So if, if, if that's the case and it's, it's for a special event and you'd like to make it out to a special someone, feel free to uh, jump on my website, rsforrugby.com. There's a way to contact me, and if you want to personalize it, certainly I'd be more than happy to do so. As a, as a thank you for, to uh, those of you listening to Next Level Rugby, I'd love to personalize it for you guys. All right. Thank you, Mike. And we're just looking at some highlights here, getting ready for some Matt McCarthy interviews. Unpredictable. You never know where he's going to go. But mostly old blue in action here as he's in Tagabe running through that one. All right, I am here with our man of the match, our trade view man of the match, Mr. Dylan Fawcett. Dylan, uh, two tries, what an effort, a Herculean, Herculean effort. Oh, absolutely. It's been great being back here in New York with all of you, you know, always getting back together, you know, missing a few from last year, but everybody's like, you know, we've got in tight here, losing Marty now to bigger and better things is great for us, you know, it's great to get the, the club on the map, and we're, you know, with Dom, head coach there, and Keys coming in, 
you know, we're trying a new brand of rugby and it's uh, we're really enjoying it here and we're really getting tight knit and, and playing some nice rugby. All right, so I got a trivia question for you. Who's logged more rugby minutes in the last six months? A top 14 player from France, a Gallagher Premiership player from England, or Dylan Fawcett with the Eagles, Glendale, Rooney, and All Blue? <laughs> I don't know. I've been enjoying my rugby. Let's put it like that, Matt. Enjoying it big time, you know. I've been lucky to get the opportunities I have. I just keep going and looking forward to November now, hopefully. All right, final question for you. There was that little pass there at the end there to get the uh, try. I think it was to Lipscomb who gave him a hat trick. You could maybe cut back inside. Did you think about trying to go for it yourself? Oh, listen, listen, I'm just delighted we got the score under the post. I get the seven points instead of the five. I'm happy enough. All right, as so, Harry Truman said, it doesn't matter who gets the credit. It's amazing what you can accomplish as long as... You don't care who gets the credit. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. Thank All you, right. sir. Thanks, the man. butcher, Dylan Fawcett. Appreciate it. Thanks. Two seconds. Two seconds. Now we're going to look for Dom Waring, the head coach. And we're back. Thank you, Matt, for that great interview with Dylan Fawcett. Back here, John Broker with Mike Petrie. We're going to be waiting for another interview here. Got a great game. So far, a shot of me putting my shirt up here in the booth. Hard to appreciate just how mm. warm it is in this no. booth, to be fair. So, Mike, <laughs> tell you know, American Rugby Premiership, while we're waiting for this, uh, you played in this this competition. Uh, it, it's really picking up steam these days. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the skill, the athleticism, all of that, I mean, it's really picked up even in the past couple of years, and it's it's exciting for, for, for what the future holds, you know, and um, – I'm, I'm eager to see kind of how this unfolds with our national team as these players start to kind of put their hands up for selection for November tour and higher honors, you know, with the World Cup just around the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a very important year. And, you know, just speaking with Cam Dolan earlier, you know, he, he's, he's one that realizes just how important these next 12 months are in the build up to that tournament. And, you know, there's a, there's a number of guys here tonight that may have put their hand up and it would be great to see mm -hmm. them in Japan in a few months time. Now, you've had a, you know, a, a great career so far. <laughs> Still a little bit to go as a scrum happened. What do you think of the, the quality of the rugby since you started kind of playing for Nyack and higher level rugby to what we're seeing now? I mean, through my broadcasting years, this just keeps getting better. Oh, totally different. I mean, it's 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 night and day really from, from when I started, and it, and it makes me feel like I maybe played too long when I, when I start to think that way. But but in essence, I mean, everything from the structure to, to again, to the athleticism to even just the raw speed, power, and, and size of the athletes involved, I mean, it's – it's really, really outstanding. And even, you know, not even just this, but when I think about, you know, watching some of the women's games lately too, you know, the, the, the women's side of it has grown tremendously as well. I mean, I saw some of the ladies leaving earlier from, from the match prior to this one, um, you know, and you see that, that there's, just, there's just athletes. You yeah. know, there's, there's people coming in, putting their hand out there, saying, hey, I, I want to get involved. Where do I sign up to play rugby? And, and the more that we can, can grow the game in that way is, is fantastic. And we have That's Penny Tagave place. down with Fantasy. Matt McCarthy He's right now. Down. Say it again. Ratu Penny Tangave. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Ratu Penny Tangave, which is shortened down to what? Penny. You want to just make it easy? It's penny and long form. Well, I like the long form. Uh, and you're uh, from Fiji and Australia, yes. right? Yes. Uh, Fijian heritage and uh, born in Australia. A lot of grounds, a lot of ground yardage gained on the on the field tonight. You were all over the place. How did you feel like you fit in? I'm um, still uh, got a lot of work to do. Uh, it's been it's been a while since I played 15s, and just it's a lot of, little bit different in the league and sevens, and just trying to find where, just getting getting, getting organised early and knowing where I got to be. Um, a little bit frustrated with myself, and got to finish some big plays. Um, but yeah, still working progress in the long season. So the humility comes from the Fijian side, obviously. Yeah, it does. <laughs> No, it was well, well done. Congratulations on a big match, and we're glad to see you here. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you guys. All right, thanks. Thank you, Matt McCarthy. Great interview on the field. This has been a production of Next Level Rugby. Rugby man on a mission, Ryan Ginty, bringing you quality rugby production at affordable prices. For Mike Petri, Matt McCarthy, I'm John Broker. This has been an American Rugby Premiership match brought to you by Next Level Rugby.